Age in a complex world, 
face to face with problems we didn't create. So what's going to happen next? We are. Because our future is the future. The life we have chosen has prepared us for this. So we're going to build bridges and hospitals in a day. We're going to save families from disasters and feed those left in the cold. We're going to do all this and more because we have an appointment with destiny. We invite you to join us. The next greatest generation is now. Hello and welcome, Madden fans. We are here and we are live. The Rally Cry Collegiate Series featuring Madden 24, presented, of course, by the Army National Guard, starts right now. Start the end starts right now. Excuse me. We're in the end game now, Novanta. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you said that. I love my reference because I have the uh, Ayodormamu tie clip here just for, for the, uh, educa uh, the occasion. But yeah, you're absolutely right. Love it. So many different weeks of qualifications brought us here. And you know what? The ones we've seen yesterday and the ones we've seen over the past several weeks definitely earn a spot to be in contention here today. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, there is a, there is a whole lot on the line today. We have been going through eight weeks of open qualifiers like Novanta just said. Now we have the cream of the crop. They have risen to the top. Uh, what is that? A couple players deleted out. No, four, four players, sorry. Half of this total bracket deleted out so far. Four players left who are going to be fighting for the prize pool. Now, speaking of, this is a lot of cash on the line here going to these Madden players when we're talking about prizing. There's obviously plenty of other Rally Cry Collegiate Series going on, the HBCU stuff for the fighting game community. That is Street Fighter, Guilty Gear, Tekken 7, as well as some CS2 and some Rocket League, as well, of course, of Madden Novanta. Yeah, those other games are fine and dandy, but today we're talking <laughs> about the Gridiron, man. $5,000 is the between the top four positions here. It says that, look, you made it this far, you get some cash in hand, but you know there's always a little bit of room to get some more. You know what I'm saying? A fantastic point. Everybody here, all four of these players, whether your name is No Mercy Lambo, Luke Plays Lacrosse, Juice Tay, or Neighbor, you are winning $500. And that is just playing for a little bit of Madden. Now, the top two players will be punching their ticket as well to the opportunity to win $2,500 for first or $1,500 for second. And that's it, Novanta. That is the only thing on the line right now. Yep, the only thing on the line, but the NFL draft there, top <laughs> Going out there to Detroit, being amongst the luminaries and dignitaries of the National Football League, who are just going to be side by side between you and greatness. So imagine being able to embarrass your opponent in front of a crowd. Well, now be your chance and maybe get an autograph. Maybe, perhaps, kind of. Oh, yeah, maybe. There you go. The lights and the sounds of the NFL draft. Yes, the top two competitors here and will not only be playing for a little bit extra cash in that competition. They will be blown all the way out to Detroit, Michigan to play in front of the next generation of talent of the NFL. The highest uh, American football uh, competition and the land no fun to absolutely yeah, love it yeah absolutely, absolutely. even though we have we're fans of football in general there's nothing that tops the nfl and the fact nope. that you can see nfl games in europe uh also too is it makes sure it's a global brand but can you imagine that just sitting in your room playing a couple games of mad and next thing you know <laughs> bam you're playing in front of a huge crowd in detroit michigan next month that right there is a dream come true you know, I can't imagine it for a couple of different reasons. Maybe just not the competitive competition part there, Novanta. Very, very exciting coming up. Very, very stuff, like, exciting stuff coming up here. I want to talk about the, oh, the organization that makes this possible, of course, and that is the Army National Guard. Now, the Army National Guard, they are the front first round uh, first responders, excuse me, to uh, when there are emergencies here at home. Now, this is guard duty that is temporary, or not temporary, excuse me, it is part-time, so a lot of National Guard members come forth, and they're going to have, like, full-time jobs as well, part-time jobs, or they're going to be going forth and furthering their higher education. There are both state and federal tuition assistance programs available for Army National Guards people, and you can check out that and more over on the ArmyNationalGuard.com. 
Yeah, absolutely. Gotta give a big shout out to the Army National Guard and the support of not only this tournament, but definitely esports in general. You can do more for yourself and your future soldiers in the Guard may qualify to receive education benefits from state and federal tuition assistance programs, which is really a uh, good thing to have. And soldiers in the Guard have the opportunity to gain transferable skills and leadership qualifiers outside of the workplace and or classroom while pursuing a full-time job or going to school full-time as well. A great opportunity. Thank you so much. Learn more at National Guard Fantastic folks making competitions like this one uh, possible and hey, getting some students paid and getting them students flying all the way out to the NFL draft. I cannot think of a better ending for a Madden competition. Let's start talking about it. Let's be about it now. On the day, we got four players here. Top of our bracket. This was a double elimination bracket as well, Novanta. So No Mercy, Lambo, and Luke plays the cross. They'll be facing on the top side of our bracket. Winner of there will be punching their ticket to the NFL draft and essentially either $1,500 or $2,500. Uh, one of those two, right? Even if you lose, you'd be getting some $1,500, right? Juice Tay neighbor though, they're going to be ones playing up here in first on our broadcast and do mine eyes deceive me. Novanto, what am I looking at? We've got a lot to unpack here. Yes, two Jets. I'm seeing <laughs> double four Jets here. Neighbor and Juice Tape, we saw them on stream about 24 hours ago. This is about that exactly. But this is a lower bracket. So if you lose this matchup, you don't get to go to Detroit. Your chances are pretty much ending here today. You still walk away with some cash and some bragging rights. But yeah, this is why the lower bracket has just about as much stakes as that winner side. Yes, very, very important, folks. Not just some cash on the line, but also still an opportunity. But neighbor, Juice Tay, both of them have got to get this one done. Let's take a look how these two teams got here. We have number three seed, Juice Tay, 10, taking on number six seed, neighbor. Now, neighbor did have to beat out. Uh, what the, excuse me. This is, oh, yeah, this is a rematch. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? This is a rematch of our very first day. That was Juice Tay Neighbor, one of our two matches that went down to a 2 1 scoreline. So, this one going down to the wire. Yeah, Juice talking about going Sorry. down to the wire. We had a team change at the last possible moment. We submitted our teams and said, uh uh, we're going to have the Kansas City Chiefs against the New York Jets. If your Gibson did everything in a bag of chips last uh, competition yesterday, see how they get this one done. It's not going to be a kickoff return here. Fair catch starting from the 25. Juice Tay is going to have their work cut out for them. Staring down the barrel of a Kansas City Chiefs squad that is great on offense, great on defense. Well, it's kind of interesting here because, you know, up here in the booth, you get an idea of the teams are going to be, and it was a last-minute change for us. I imagine if Juice was trying to formulate how to start a defense against a mirror match, and in the last possible second, we had ourselves one of the best teams in the game. So it comes down to the resolve of Juice Tate to see what they can do, and uh, they're on find a way to persevere here today. ourselves set and ready there tugboat might probably my um, broadcast colleague is excited as i am i can tell you <laughs> one thing though uh if there's anything a neighbor has to do is somehow find a way to close the door remember uh 24 hours ago they won the first game the best of three and the second game they had a, a but of a bad time to say the least so if they can win two games back to back and make it easy for them they might have a better time today gotta agree Got to agree. This one's starting off the encroachment here. What this just means the neighbor wants a little bit more time on the defense to figure out what they want to do. This is going to be declined. You stay. Hey, sportsmanship, sportsmanship. Best part of this game. Stay. <laughs> this is the Rally Cry Collegiate Series featuring Madden. How else would they start off the game except for a screen? Hey, you know, sometimes if it's something you understand that you're used to is actually good, too. I go to my favorite uh, from Burger short shop, it's the same mm -hmm. taste every week. Why not go for what works for you? Starts off, get some positive yardage. Speaking of positive yardage, Tyler Conklin, that's a man's name we have not spoken so, so much yesterday. Big tight end here coming in, having some major effect. Juice Tay is playing a whole bunch of different teams. A whole, whole bunch of different teams. Juice Tay. Uh, representing the college out of Charlotte here. Now, Brees Hall, rocking hand, runs up for about 10, making 11 there for a first down plus some. 
Well, different cast of characters but still the same show. And I do think if Juice pulls off the win today, uh, today and later on today, this would be the best run ever. Just picking the Jets to do it all. That was bold and brave. And so far, it's working out for them. Hey, again, don't fix it if it ain't broke. Right at the middle, Tyler Conklin gets a blocker, gets out to the first down yard, and a little bit farther than that, actually. Wrestled out to the right side, and two minutes or so off of this clock, and you stay. Aaron Rodgers led Jets are marching down this field right now. Uh, I was kind of expecting a bit of a mirror of yesterday of, of neighbor coming out and being a stronger side. But even though they haven't had a chance with the ball quite yet, maybe a bit premature, it does feel like Juice Tay is pretty much in Saturday afternoon form <laughs> if you watch the stream yesterday. <laughs> really was. I mean, it's uh, you what, 320 or so on the East Coast. Got to think that these two members are fully warmed up and ret to go. Just sure. First, not his second, uh, his this weekend, one of the more famous weekends in all of the calendar. Yesterday was 316 day. Shout out to my Stone Cold Steve Austin fans. And today is St. Patrick's Day uh, there Tugboat. I don't know about you, but I do have a cool green feather boa I'm going to wear between games. Just uh, gotcha. You won't be able to see it, though. I mean, it'll be off camera. I'm going to celebrate mm -hmm. that uh, I will virtually pinch you since I can't see it. <laughs> Jets not going to have to worry about that one. Kansas City, how amazing would it be if Madden, uh, if Madden, you know, got that, uh, got that influence, right? If the defense, offense gets a pinch on a team not wearing green, then the stats are tweaked negatively for a little while, nerfed here on St. Patrick's Day. Hey, there's all the abilities in the game. You know, you might slip that in there and no one will know the difference. <laughs> Entirely fair. What is also fair is to say that neighbor's defense has woken up in a lot of ways, the past couple, this was relatively easier march down the field here for neighbor representing the Fort Valley State University squad. Now Aaron Rodgers back in the gun, 13 yards up to the first, 20 outside of the end zone. Audibles upon audibles get called. Trips action to the right. Reese Hall going out for passing potentials. And if Tranquil just got the hands up right there, that been a different story. Yeah, that was definitely a situation of just being absolutely fooled, right? So it was just an easy a ball to block or even swat down. There really even wasn't a switch to user-generated uh, characters, probably because they were expecting something completely different. Doesn't matter, though. First blood drawn by Juice Tay. So they are Juice Tay, again, representing University out of Charlotte. Let's see how they respond on defense here, because, hey, this is the Kansas City Chiefs offense. We know what they can do. On the 12, is going to call for the fair catch. The Devontas of the world in shambles. Yeah, if you guys, this is the first time watching the stream. Everyone should run back every catch. Look, you only <laughs> live once. It's not even you. It's a digital version of you. I say go for it. <laughs> exactly. You cannot actually take any negative effect from this outside of game, of course. Now, so again, reminder, folks, this is a rematch of our beginning playoff bracket. Juice Tay and Neighbor, the first broadcast on the stream yesterday. That was a barn burner that went down. Juice Tay with two, Neighbor with one. But remind me here, this was not exactly the same uh, teams utilized, right? This was some Buffalo Bills, Chiefs, Jets. Oh, yeah, the whole uh, running of the gamut there. Yeah, I mean, neighbor was definitely uh, on a different level with the Buffalo Bills. And, and even though the first game looked like it was all Buffalo, it kind of collapsed at the end. So I get picking a different team. What a catch there from Travis Kelsey and <laughs> doubling back before hitting a wall on the way down. Uh, yeah, new teams are great and it's working out for them, but I wonder if it can hold, is what I'm saying. I, I love just watching the evolution of this matchup here because, like you said, that was neighbor all day long. Game number one, that one's going to be outside. Rasheed Rice not able to get the toes down inside. 17 seconds outside of the end of the first quarter here. I got to say, well, at least it's lower scoring, right? Because that was, what, 21. Yeah, 21 points in the matchup between Neighbor and Juice Tay. First time these two teams saw each other. Hey, can I ask you a question there, Talk about? Hit me. You you live in one of the entertainment capitals of the world, right? I Las do. Vegas, and and the, there's a local football team, and so you had an experience to see a lot of away fans. Any away fandoms uh, stick out to you? Uh, most sports teams from southern, uh, most sports fans from Southern California scare me just a little bit, just a little <laughs> bit, Novant. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have a healthy respect of Dodgers fans, for example, uh, Rams, Chargers, obviously. Uh, just put Padres fans in a noogie. That'd be fine. 
<laughs> Something tells me they would not appreciate that one. Rasheed <laughs> Rice, though, very good, much going to appreciate the confidence neighbor laid within him seven points on the board Phillies fans we were talking about that yesterday right Phillies fans obviously you know uh, Raiders and Phillies fans not going to be playing each and like seeing each other at uh at Allegiant too too often uh Broncos fans are very very well traveled very well traveled and Kansas City fans are just very numerous you know what I'm saying everyone's a right. Kansas City fan this year yeah, this year by past five years right when it comes to Super Bowl stuff I kind of root for the Chiefs only because you know Pat Mahomes dad was a New York Met but I'm, I'm with it. I get it. I'll, I'll do the whole red and white. Why not? Kansas City has decent barbecue. We talked about that yesterday. Kansas City has barbecue that will make grown men shed tears from their eyes in public. It makes everyone uncomfortable. <laughs> Still do it, okay? It was so good. It was so good. I, I'm going to have to get the name of the uh, of the place that I went to, talk to with some of the KCP people that I was uh, like seeing in town, working with, and stuff like that. Because it was, man, it was just, it was too good. Too huh. good. Yeah. Peace Hall. Get a nice one right up the... Right at the middle. Uh, a lot of Midwest. I mean, St. Louis barbecue, right? A lot, a lot of Midwestern, a lot of Midwestern uh, states really, really do kill it when it comes to just uh, applying heat to burnt pig, right? Right. Yeah. They got, you know, time to slow cook it. You know, they don't have to live in these high rises like me up in a shoebox <laughs> in the city, <laughs> Los Angeles, living above all of us people down here. <laughs> so I can't okay. incomplete uh, pass right there, but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, the, the, the LA has its own great food. I mean, you know, you're. you're Street tacos, burritos. I mean, come on. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's definitely it's just, it's just different. Mexican, Tex-Mex, and, and fusion culture, but uh, barbecue is definitely not something no one goes to but LA for. There's, there, there's a name it. for the for the specific Hispanic food that is served in LA, right? It's not exactly Tex-Mex, not exactly, you know, full on uh, in, in any one ethnicity, one you know Mexican food, you know, Guatemalan food, or anything else like that, right? That, like that's, the, a good, that's a good question. The uh, element so it, that LA is, that LA is like you know imposed on the food around, like local food and stuff like that. I feel like there's a name for it. I can't remember. Yeah, that. there's there's big enough uh, Cuban and Guatemalan, Salvadoran communities that can have that stuff, but there's so many Mexican and Mexican Americans living in SoCal, they can actually do it by state. So you can go and get Oaxacan oh. food, you can get food de Jalisco, you can get food there de Baja go. California. So you can like go through the Mexican gamut here in LA. Love that. Love that. It's like state representation, but then it's almost like sports. Right? Hey, <laughs> go with it. That's what we'd love to see. That's what we'd love to see. <laughs> I want to see an SEC stretch of California where it's just like, you know, this is SEC West. You know, this is all your Alabama's real misses, your LSU's, everything else like that. And then right. my SEC East over on a different side. <laughs> oh, sad day. <laughs> Get back to it, though. Get back to it. Talk a lot more about food, though, folks. Aaron Rodgers surveying the field, actually getting the wheels going a little bit. Alan Lazard, if there if there is too much pressure on a New York Jets squad, that release valve is named Alan Lazard. For Kansas City, is definitely named Travis Kelsey, but there is a little bit of a difference in what those two men can do on the field. Changes up there from the defense, and he's going to be happy that this one was not snapped. Did not look like neighbor was ready right here now. Drawn across is the, the showing zone. Nope, now switch to a much, much more close personal in your face man coverage right down the middle. Brees Hall taking advantage of some blown coverage, and that's going to be four members just beating feet to try to get this man down. Yeah, you know, once everything is rocking and rolling, the Jets really can't be stopped. That last play from Lazari was only stopped by a foot being out of bounds, but you can tell that that is a big boy that could do a lot of yards at the contact. And Hall, well, what has it been said? I mean, just doing the shuffle step when needs to be, getting in a whole other play worth of work, which is amazing to see. We saw Juice Tay, Breeze Hall, user interaction on the juke right to the outside, taking advantage of just how much green you have to your left. You're right. Perfectly timed kick up and down. This is going to be what everybody on championship Saturday and Sunday so far remains perfect on the extra point. We you know, did see two 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 point conversions yesterday that were right, and one of them missed. Yeah, we did. We did see uh, two attempts and one completion. Uh, you know, we talk about frustration a lot, especially yesterday, about what it means to have a series slip. But if you're a neighbor and you played Tuesday, what, your fourth time now, I, I wonder what's going through your mind where you go, hey, look, I can't believe we're still letting so many yards uh, conced conceded after a, play, a running play quite like that. It must be, like, so hard to wrap your head around what to do. I can agree with that. Um... I'm going to ring this negative belt or this gong too loud, right? But uh, this is 
The very first matchup of yesterday that we saw on broadcast, a bomb down to Rasheed Rice, a big end to the outside, first down and way, way more. But if you'll hark back with me, Devonta, hark. shall remember. Hark away, sir. Now, uh, this was uh, the neighbor squad that gave up in the second game after taking game number one, like very, very one-sided. Yeah. Uh, and, and and gave up in like the third period down by like I think 14 or 21 maybe oh, and yeah. then that game three did not go their way we were talking so much about how neighbors going to be kicking themselves that they do not get to this position right now Right, and it is something that I still have questions about. Like, I'm I'm hanging out with my friends last night going, remember what happened today at work where someone just quit when they had a chance to tie it up? <laughs> What's going on? And it's a chance to tie it up. It's also a chance for a whole boatload of cash and the ability to fly all the way out to a little place named Detroit, Michigan for a little old thing called the NFL Draft 2024 edition. Now, let's be real. With the kind of cash you can get in this tournament, yeah, you can do things academically, books or whatnot, things to upgrade your system, things to upgrade your set, Ooh. but just the idea of having it in hand, and that is also in hand. Touchdown, Chiefs. It's fantastic. Neighbor gets this one done. Single-digit seconds left on the clock. We're talking about maybe two more plays after that one, and that's if there are very short, methodical snaps to receivers right off the line of scrimmage. Now, kickoff coming. Juice Tay. Takes this back, yes, no? I say yeah. It really depends on where, right? I always nah, that's say terrible yeah. positioning. Uh, I'm gonna go for it. Five oh. yards inside the end zone. Novanta. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> accurate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not playing in this competition for a reason. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. my, my lifetime winnings is zero for a reason. That's <laughs> yes, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, uh, sh shoot, if we're being honest, overall, especially once game. Uh, well, no, it wasn't game battles, was it? They didn't do. Ma I can't remember exactly which uh, which company it was, but they did have the wager matches on this, so I'm probably like actually negative, right? Like overall, <laughs> like, for, for being totally honest. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be like a what? Be a 68 or so yard field goal attempt? That ain't gonna happen. Juice Tay, oh man, nobody back, empty backfield. One is the loneliest number, and Aaron Rodgers is gonna be singing that song loaded up right side. This is a hail mary. Cross yourself and say your prayers. Uh, tie game. I mean, I probably wouldn't push this, but if you're feeling it, like you say, is might as well give it a shot. You say it's been gambling so far. That's a bomb. That's out. That's oh. Gibson, and that's inside with one second left. Juice Tay is gonna snatch the lead back, going into the second half. That's just nasty. You didn't have to do it like that, Juice Tay, but it was done, and it was done well. What a pass. What a catch. And that is a difference between nothing and six. Nicely done. And they're not. we're not even going to get a whole lot of opportunity here for neighbor on the backside of this one. Third quarter, we go. That is doing everything with literally as little as you can get. Literally as little as you possibly can get, man. Crazy. I'm crazy, just, crazy. I'm not sure what to say. Like, there's so much patience and time Aaron Rodgers has. That QB is so good, you wouldn't want to give him the time. But then having the afterburners on the other side to catch that ball on the run was amazing to see. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Uh, we were talking about a, uh, you know, first matchup between these two teams that was, you know, kind of got a high, uh, high scoring there. We see the exact same scoreline, right? 21 to 14 going in to the second half between Neighbor and Juice Tay, but with the advantage flipped, with Juice Tay now in the lead after having figured it out with the New York Jets. Yeah, I think the Leicester yes, just only had one loss, but besides that, really felt like they were always in the competition. And I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but once you shifted to the Jets, it was almost like another level had been reached. That's entirely fair, entirely fair. Uh, we can wax and wane about what could have been had Neighbor played out games two and three, but Regardless, Lockamo Jr. fell to zero neighbor and Noah up next, who actually got into the winner's round two. Won, won his first matchup there. Noah up next dropped, didn't get a single game against neighbor. Now this one thrown away outside, trying to nail a water boy over there or something like that for <laughs> giving him hot water or something. I don't know. Yeah, look at the camera guy was trying to find that collision. If it was disappointing, it happened. <laughs> it was kind of cool to see. Uh, looking for something over there. Now we got second and 10. Uh, I mean, honestly, neighbors just not even really spent that much time on offense. Uh, most of these have been big bombs. Obviously, Rasheed Rice got to that right side corner, staying in the pocket, loves the pocket right here. Kelsey to the outside, but that's an early breakup, and we have not one but two incomplete passes 
for Mahomes and Neighbor after he only threw one so far in the first half. Well, I was going to use the word efficient, but that's after two complete <laughs> passes. But yeah, I feel it with less possession, still being a score away says a lot, right? That means if you're Juice Tay, you don't want to give too much time if you're having the last score of the game. But at the same time, though, uh, Neighbor should be a lot further along. A lot of these uh, play calls are kind of unorthodox. They're not really working out for them. It's fair. Fourth and inches is no decision. Pacheco right up the middle. A couple of yards, two, maybe three right here is... You hear those guys doing the doing the thing worse than us? Uh, who's that? The commentators. The commentators doing it worse than us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do they know? <laughs> what do they know? They don't have their positions for a reason. Total joke. 100,000% right. joke right here. Let me be very clear about that one. Oh, you were joking? Okay. <laughs> oh, you were joking. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Travis Kelsey. Release valve here. Neighbor. Kansas City. A little bit of pressure. Team comes out, Travis Kelsey receives and lets this thing air. That's going to be a first down a yard or two after that is one as well. Davis almost picks this one off. A big bounding jump for Travis Kelsey. And he's taking offense for me, to me calling him a release valve. That's a pressure cooker right there in the form of seven on the board. Putker stays perfect. 21, 21. Here comes the replay, folks. Wow, uh, I was sitting there saying, what about Pacheco? But you know, if you score, forget what I was going to say. Pearls were firmly clutched, doesn't matter if it's a touchdown. Hey, but the pace of this game has been set. There have not been any defensive nothings. Gibson steps back and kind of surveys that for a second. And just a second of a stutter step is the difference between, I mean, 23, 22 at least probably, especially if he winged it to the left side corner and took it up the left uh, sidelines. But 13, that's it. Uh, especially if you're going in the gun, you're talking about only being about six, seven yards outside of the end zone. Nice blocking. Tyler Conklin gets there. Lazard turns up field, gets ahead of one, looks for a block on the second. Doesn't quite get there, but the 50-yard line will be the result and the reward there for Alan Lazard. Oh, my goodness. It's almost like he's going at half speed and waiting for the defenders to come to them before subduing them. You don't get to have that kind of swag if you don't know. Uh, you see yourself winning the matchup. Those right there is playing with confidence. Look at Juice Tay because they get a lot slower because they have a lot less impact. But why not go forward if everyone is working in tandem today? 254, I believe it said. 217 of those coming through the air. Lazard coming down with 66 of them himself off of four receptions. I believe he's caught four for four that he has been targeted on as well. Rogers spanning the field, sending players where he wants them to go. That's out, blown zone coverage, but it's going to be a breakup there off the efforts of the user involved player. Yeah, I totally got confused by the graphic on the gridiron. I thought it was going to be a popped up ball for recovery. But hey, look, that's something that worked before. You can't knock it for trying it if your opponent hasn't figured it out. I think, thankfully, neighbors started to be a little bit wise. So if you're Juice Tay, we'll see what else you got. It is getting players like a little bit past the secondary has really come forth and given neighbor, or excuse me, a Juice Tay, like a lot of advantage so far. Fourth and two, once again, is no decision whatsoever. Only three up on the line, a couple a little bit closer out. They're going to try and collapse this pocket in, but pocket retained. That's going to be another one. There is no such thing as just running the ball up the middle for a couple of them. Yeah, absolutely unfortunate. In double coverage, still being able to bring it down and still get to have a couple yards to advance. Those are not good. You don't want to concede passes like those. Wilson, Garrett Wilson finally getting involved here as well as they're going to be getting up to the second and inches a very close game as New Jersey just continuously adding up to that. No, second for 30, excuse me. I wonder if the New York Jets decided to really call themselves New Jersey, if we would riot or just go, yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> it's fine. We accept it. NJJ, I don't, I don't know, NYJ just flows, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. New Jersey Giants agrees. Do, do they do they keep the JTS? Jets, 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 jets. There All you right. go, Brees. Oh, my goodness. I thought he fell inside. Oh, absolutely. Do you know the Jets were named after the New York Mets because they rhymed? True story. Jets, Mets. Nets. Da, 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 the old ball. I don't know. <laughs> just putting this one in for Is seven. Back there? Just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I look like I should be playing in Oregon right now. <laughs> this red. Uh, I'm just kidding. I honestly love this jacket, but uh, funny stuff. Replay here for you guys in the Bruce Hall run. I uh, I got this jacket for Esports Awards last year at Resorts World. Had not been to Resorts World before. 
I'll let you take one guess as to what the, their colors are, aka what the help at Resorts World wears, Devonta. Uh, I'm going to say crushed velvet and swag. Is that the color of the jacket? <laughs> it's going to be black and dark red. <laughs> Had to go around there. And uh, it, it, so, so their accent was much more black than the red. So fortunately, I did not look exactly like the, uh, you know, the staff that works there. But uh, any fans of The Office going to be familiar with that situation. Absolutely. I make a point to keep a blue shirt in my car just in case I go to Target. So I totally understand that, bro. <laughs> there you go. Have everybody come up and ask you for stuff and you just tell every single one, hey, you know it's on the app now, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't work here. <laughs> oh. 20, 25 seconds or so by snap here. Second and five for neighbor. No real reason to like time this one out either. Doesn't have to be fast, but Pacheco sent out for receiving duties and, and just continuously, that's the mistake that Juice Tay has been making. They uh, uh, continuously go either for man coverage that doesn't take a man named Isaiah Pacheco into account, which would be a mistake all of its own, or this is zone coverage that is just not, doesn't, just doesn't have enough allotted for this side. And uh, continuously, everybody's going to pick this one apart, and whether it's Pacheco or another receiver, get those first downs when they need them. Yeah, you're seeing the opposite side of the confidence, right? Juice is basically sitting there going, like, you're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. Oh, you did that. Okay. And then there you go. Responds in kinds with an aggressive play. Definitely yeah. uh, toying with your food there, Juice Tay is. I like it. I love the confidence. But you're going to have freak plays like that we saw before this with Pacheco getting that catch. I mean, th this is just the result of a little bit of pressure, right? Uh, especially given the neighbor is sending everybody out. No bodyguard duties for Pacheco. That's enough. Right across the middle, Kadarius Tony getting involved in the offensive side of the ball well special teams action earlier yeah it's definitely late here in the fourth and i was saying this before because uh oh, this could be it right here oh apparently not Fumble. I, was okay. it recovered or it was not recovered okay was uh, going to yeah. be recovered by the kansas city chiefs i think that was a loss of a yard or so though right yeah, but that's not a loss. There's a touchdown. That's <laughs> great. Uh, what I was going to say about the time situation now, because uh, neighbors are so good at running the clock, if you're Juice Tay, you got to really take a page from their playbook once you get this ball here now to make sure you're the last one to score. Chiefs and neighbors now, speaking of scoring, scored in every single corner thus far. No onside kick attempt quite yet. This is still, like, with enough time, this could go down 35-35. See another barn burner right there. 35-38. Well, no, that was 34-37. Uh, for Luke plays lacrosse against Juice Tay in that second round right there for the first game, of course. You get your onside kick anyway. Now. Oh, your offside kick? <laughs> you got a bounce kick? <laughs> Bam. Uh, I, I, the idea here, of course, is giving uh, Juice Tay a shorter field so that they don't get as many first downs to keep running this clock. Yep. It's the first play of the drive. It's Lazar. Oh, covers the ball when he should have just taken off. So, as we're talking about running that clock here, it's four minutes, it is kind of accelerated, but it definitely comes down to a balance of what they're planning to do here. If I'm Juice Day, you're going to see a lot of uh, passing plays that are going to be diagonals and hookbacks and loopbacks, chicanes, if you will. Rogers holds on to it. Well, nobody in this entire stadium or in the booth was expecting that one. Aaron Rodgers looks very, very happy for going 12 feet. Sickling for a first down or a four yard yeah, run? Like, I, 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 I guess, dude. <laughs> Gotta love the confidence. First down. <laughs> well, they're on the 38, so conceivably three more first downs. Reese Hall gonna get that one and just that wise decisions. Juice Tay is now thinking, hey, run this clock, get neighbor to burn this trio of timeouts and take this one 31 to 28. Yeah, that'd be it. That'd be the best uh, sports strategy uh, because you don't want to be able to put anyone on defense, especially someone like Neighbor who can and has proven to come from behind in past weeks of play. It's also a really wise decision to not go for some kind of longer run or to run this clock because you know it's stopping at two minutes. So just, hey, get this off at like 2.05 or so. Let this run all the way down. This is one of the clock stoppages for Neighbor. This could be a gift or it could be a curse. You know it has to be done and... Well, now you put yourself in a position where we're going to start seeing those timeouts now. I, I, I hope we do here because you need some time on the back side if you get this stop on this set of downs. Third and six. It's not just a gimme here for Juice Tay and the New York Jets. Well, 
I would say that a field goal would be numero uno, but I don't know. I think there is that bit of a juiste desire to have everything ends uh, with a touchdown. So, so I should still be in the, in the, in the offense. Aaron Nadal is just a little bit dangerous at this point, especially given that this is a neutral situation. We do not have points on the board advantage-wise for Juste yet. Xavier Gibson going to get the first down plus a little bit more. I mean, like I was saying, those passes are tend to be the ones that go the other way so late in games like these. But, you know, I really think that there's a little bit of a pull to be able to end the game with a touchdown rather than mm. the more sensible field goal here. Yeah, that's going to be encroachment to stop the clock right here. That's going to be giving them a little bit of yardage. But uh, that is, again, a, a kind of advantage here for neighbor because they're giving them a shorter field and the less first set of downs. Brees Hall up for about three. Now we see our timeouts. I was going to say at a certain point, neighbors got to take this one into account. Yeah, absolutely. 53 seconds isn't a lot of time, but it can be an absolute eternity. You don't uh, figure out what your next plan and course of action is. Other screen. Gibson on this one gets up to third and inches. There's the timeout. This will be a fresh set of downs. Uh, and yeah, Gibson was kind of like diving for it. If you could have like had the foresight, got him behind right there and maybe uh, push them inside. So this is just a first down on this drive. And that would be optimal, I guess. But this this is, uh, you know, that that is perfect situations. Everything going right in that one. Yeah, well, I thought for sure I was going to be like, oh, well, we're not going to have anything in the shotgun. And the elbows came out. So I guess everyone does want to risk uh, getting up close. And the run there is at pressing it down, like you were saying, right, right in front of the end zone. And this is neighbor saying that they're happy taking it with five seconds to go, maybe even less. Perfect clock utilizations here for Juice Tay. That's going to go. Now they're going to take it down to the one, call a timeout, kick this field goal. Oh my goodness. Uh, to think about field goals for some weeks where it wasn't even in the equation, but now the deciding factor being one of those, uh, you know, defensive uh, uh, fans will be like, you know, chef's kissing <laughs> for this one. Hey, defensive minded fans, they, they, they win championships. Defense, you know what they, uh, you know what they say, right? Defenses punch their ticket to Detroit, Michigan. Uh, that's, that's really a, a normal quote. I don't know if you saw that inscribed anywhere, but I'm with it. I agree. 100%. Up and in, split the field goal right here right down the middle perfectly done this will be a one second kickoff so uh this is definitely uh, uh, at this point right you, you're not going for a uh for the fair catch, fair catch. Kickoff return I'm no Kadarius. <laughs> yeah okay, okay i was about to say Kadarius tony does you got to go for the fair catch on this one and go for a single single play right i guess i guess i'm, I'm inclined <laughs> to agree we're done to mahomes Last nice play, yeah. What fourth down and everything done right here, and Pacheco is going to be handed off right here. Uh, so, a 31-28 game will be the result of our first matchup between these two teams. And uh, I guess if your neighbor, I'm still going for, I'm still going for like a hail mary in the very last little bit, right? Like we, we've got, we've already seen crazier things happen so far, man. Yeah, you're definitely going to lose if that something dramatic, maybe a, a passing play on the right side or the Hail Mary, but going right up the middle of Pacheco was uh, put yourself in a way to not be successful. But let's let's talk about the game here. Uh, neighbor did very, very well. I think he's even a better Chiefs pilot than we are with the Buffalo Bills, but ultimately mm -hmm. it was the resourcefulness of Juice and the New York Jets that got them the dub right here in game one. Yeah, just the utilization of those first downs at the very last little bit. Juice Tay is a gamer, man. He's, he's got all that planned out to the second. As perfect as perfect gets. We'll be rolling on through to our game number two. Once again, folks, after the uh, culmination of this matchup, we'll be switching on along to No Mercy Lambo and Luke plays lacrosse winner's side of this bracket. Uh, also, we did not uh, did not broach the topic quite yet, right? Given this is a double elimination bracket, we wouldn't uh, we wouldn't come forth and have like no advantage from winner side bracket, right? A team that comes through and does not drop a single match throughout the entirety of the championship bracket, there will be a one game advantage for the player coming in from the winner side, either No Mercy Lambo or Luke Plays, uh, when they're playing Lights and Sounds in 
uh, Detroit, Michigan at the NFL draft. There will be Abs a one game advantage in that series. So absolutely fitting. You know, you are you should be rewarded for being able to have your eyebrows down and find a way to cut through the top of the the graph, the bracket here. But imagine having the game in hand when that first game you're trying to settle your nerves is worth its weight in gold. Yeah, it really is. It really is. Like essentially coming in and saying that like I can either just take two down because I believe believe it's gonna be a best of five there for the there for the championship, of course. I can either take two down back to back or I can even come in and then just give up a single game when like all of this stuff is around me, right? Pressure creates diamonds sometimes, but uh, having that one game cushion is never gonna be a bad thing. We'll be getting confirm as well as far as any team changes. I don't I mean this is a very, very this was a very like close matchup. I could see I could see Kansas City going over the Bills because they have similar offensive weapons, but the defense is just you know with, with Jordan Poyer, Micah Hyde, Vaughn Miller. You're, you're just talking about three just absolute pillars of the defense of the community as is, and just leaving even two of those on AI is just fantastic. So yeah, I'm with it. Uh, if I'm the neighbor, if you're watching this or listening to this, you gotta stop playing scared. Uh, a day ago, there was uh, that fear of those interceptions and those balls going over there and going the other way. And now we saw so many incomplete passes on the edges. I understand you don't want to be able to throw away your fortunes, but those incomplete passes ultimately were your undoing because had they connected, you would have been in a position to score at least two more times in the past game. I just say, go for it. Get a little bit of swagger, fake it till you make it. That's what I do all the time, man. Get yourself a chance. You're out of chances now put everything forward it works it just works and neighbor like we've been talking in the past what nine weeks or something like that about how like you know you don't have to hail a mary in every single play right not every play has to be a 40 yard bomb from the gun but at the end of the day there was only one really big attempted play by neighbor in game number one that was rasheed rice like 25 30 yard bomb over to the right side Travis Kelsey and everybody else on this squad, Kadarius Tony, everybody else got like a sub 10, 15 yard uh, touchdowns on this one outside. You know, I, I think there was like a 21 yard run from Travis Kelsey. That was just off the result of a moderately sized pass caught short and ran all the way in because Travis Kelsey's Travis Kelsey. Yeah, the GOAT or soon to be GOAT. I don't know. <laughs> it's too early. Feels weird to say it now. He's a Swifty. Yeah, Tony. Yeah, no, true. I, I mean, if 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 you ended the career right now, then it's still a conversation. I'm still kind of pointing towards Tony Gonzalez, but like Travis Kelsey has still got some gas in the tank. Yeah, you know what? Uh, the two times I ever played fantasy football at my job as a team building thing, Travis Kelsey's bailed me out both times. So props to that. <laughs> hey, uh, but it's the stat. It remains uh, past three years total wide res or total yardage sieved Travis Kelsey is number three right obviously everybody else in the top like 15 or something like that are wide receivers well wow that's that's a fantastic stat yes. I'll here. get the exact I believe it's you know what I'm not going to speculate I'm going to get the stat for you though because okay. well it looks like we're going to have the same two teams the Kansas City Chiefs piloted by neighbor against the New York Jets piloted by Juice Tight Juice Tight having a game in hand in this best of three uh, only needs one more to move on into that finals bracket, which means that they win today, they get to be top two. And top two gets a ticket to Detroit. Yep, no surprises here. Tyreek Hill and Justin Jefferson, uh, number one and two. So, oh, okay. Reese Hall, oh my goodness, breaking off a big one here and early using defenders and smashing against them. Usually you see these pick and rub plays right around the line of scrimmage. Reese Hall gets that one done with the AI and it's a big end to break this game wide open early. Yeah, the thing about that one was the composure. I think a lot of lesser players would just run that turbo and see how they can go as fast as possible, but the restraint there uh, helped them out in the back end. That's where you know your players and how smart you are with making sure they have enough juice in the tank. 7 nothing. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Say juice in the tank. I say juice in the tank. Juice Tay doing fantastic stuff right now. 7-0 right now, and that's going to be the fair catch called there for James, I believe. Fans didn't even get a chance to find their seats, and there's already points on the board. <laughs> kind of an ominous sign if your neighbor. Let's see if I found a way to respond. You know, I'm one of those guys, I'm not going to lie, dude. Uh, you know, face off for hockey, the initial jump ball for basketball, the opening kickoff here for football. I just don't have to be there for these things to fully appreciate the game. I'd be, I'd be molding. I'd be tearing my hair out right now. 
So are, are you a uh, late to arrive and, and you wait till after the game is over? Do you Correct. late to arrive and leave early? Like, what's your vibe? I'm late to a, late to arrive, late to leave. I hate, of, like, fighting traffic. And the best thing that you can do at a pro sports game is just find something cool to do for 20, 30 minutes after the game ends. Yeah, but it's like 11 o'clock or midnight on a school night sometimes. I got things to sleep at, you know? Like I, I, house, I stay you know? up late all the time. We were just yeah, you are bad, that. man. I got that, yeah, for sure. Yep, what can I say? What can I, I say? <laughs> uh, I think yesterday I went to the uh, the local soccer team, LA Galaxy, and I was there like an yes. hour early, and I left in the 70th minute because traffic uh, in Southern California is a different class. <laughs> it's fair. It's yeah. fair. I like to always remind people, you are not in traffic, you are the traffic. Whoa. That's Whoa, way dude. too deep, man. <laughs> like ants in an anthill, man. Yeah. It's like we can't talk about society if we're in society, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Did you say with an early score, neighbor's going to be looking back at this one, heavily loading the left-hand side, about a scantling and Mikol Hardman Jr. on the left. I believe that's Kadarius Tony. Well, them up now, moves to the right side, gives them a lot more options. Patrick Mahomes given a right side of the field and a lot of it throws this one out. One for three. Neighbor is not exactly doing the things they need to be doing to clean up the edges and take an advantage over you stay thus far it is only two plays in yeah three uh, three yard gain i would have taken that but hey maybe i'm just a guy in the booth no i i 100 agree with that maybe even thinking about fumble potentials bomb outside travis kelsey gonna catch this one hit the dirt quickly first fresh set of downs purchased definitely an outstretched superman position for travis kelsey it brings it down because like we we're saying before is elite Ooh, big sack to follow this one up adams makes Mahomes one with the dirt oh, man that's the thing you don't want one that whole pop ball situation but you getting taken down for a full sack yikes yikes fantastic culmination right there there's the pot okay so give it wait third and 18. Yeah, that last, that last sack was a pretty uh, big in, as you would say. Yeah, seriously, seriously. Third and 18 is just so much more brutal when it comes to this. Is basically requiring a long pass or maybe just a moderate one and then followed up with a fourth and short run. Not sure. Mahomes not willing to go for this one all the way out to Valdez. Gantley catches it inside. And that's... I mean, th this is just the major difference between Neighbor and Juice Tay. Neighbor is moving the chains where they can find it. A Juice Tay is picking it up and dragging it behind them. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, being able to connect the passes is one thing, but to manufacture first downs or always makes oh, cool. a mark of a superior team. And now Pacheco jukes to the inside when he honestly should have just drawn a line to the side pylon there on the left. As it is, not real much advantage there. It's two yards on the... First real run of this Kansas City Chiefs squad in this game number two. Juice Tay taking it down 31-28. No OT situation in the first. This is a devoid defensive side of the field to the right here. Travis Kelsey's going to be out there. Does have a man near them, but this is zone coverage. Nope, it's going to be Valdez Scantling on the redirect. 7-7, seven, seven, game we go. Well, I was going to be concerned they're going to run out of road there, but just being able to plant your feet, and it counts. And, well, we're saying that play with a little bit more edge if your neighbor understands the stakes. Well, we're getting a lot of more of those uh, spirited plays right now. Up and down. It's perfectly 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, it cannot be understated that Juice Tay got this touch in the first, it was eight seconds, right? Eight seconds of actual game clock. Yeah, about that. Easy stuff. 7 here as the kick's away. Gibson going to be coming back at this one. Catches it with a little momentum as well. Middle of the field actually given up. Now oh. weaving, cutting, and diving. Last player going to be getting up to the 42. Uh, well, the catch and run was great, but it was the realization of my broadcast colleague being like, oh, wait, this is actually a good run. It's worth it. You're like, oh, here's another one. And what a fantastic juke. They're really well in events. All the way back in the gun, Hall turns into a receiver and gets it done. The check down comes from Aaron Rodgers, and that's going to be enough for a decent advantage right here because Rodgers wasn't finding much more. That pocket collapsing like the sewing was coming out. <laughs> You're not wrong, and look, Aaron Rodgers is not being paid by the hour. Making sure those things are quick snaps <laughs> right out. It's funny. Yeah, uh, Tyler Conklin also was 
I'm not gonna lie, was mostly just snubbed uh, yesterday. W w was kind of ignored there and did not get really involved within the passing or the receiving game, I should say. Uh, mostly running as roles for blocking and whatnot for either uh, Manny Allen Lazard or Reese Hall running out of the backfield. Getting them involved multiple times in both games now is Juice Tay. This is gonna something that's gonna result in success. I love how chaotic this play calls are. It's kind of like you wouldn't like link those two together at all, but we're, we're getting that right here. Multiple games. This is what our, our fifth game or sixth game of Juice we've seen this weekend. And it just seems like playground rules are happening in New Orleans. <laughs> this, is the, this is the sixth. No, hang on. Jordu Juice Tay yesterday. Luke plays Juice Tay yesterday. This is like the sixth or the seventh game or something like that. Juice Tay has been featured on broadcast here a whole lot. If he doesn't punch a ticket to the NFL draft, we're going to look mighty foolish, aren't we? Yeah. But what, my, my point is, though, like it's very easy to, to, to make yourself into um, the same kind of plays. And you see some plays being featured, and the, the brand is very kind of loose and fast and confident. But the actual plays per drive are different enough that you're seeing opponents struggle to even pin that down. Down, which is really the key to success is when you think you have your opponent figured out and they hit you with a hook you were looking for. I, I feel like just Madden wise, like the Madden mentality is that a hook is almost like, especially because you're stopping, is just uh, giving up of any positive yardage after that, unless you come up with a fantastic spin like immediately. Uh, and so it's just, just feeding the mentality of like all or nothing, big gamble, all in type plays. Hall tracked down perfectly by the user-controlled Johnson. Number 13 takes him down easily. Neighbor actually getting in advance of a tackle. Pretty clean there for a loss. We haven't seen too many of those on the Jets' side. Yeah, especially yeah, not against the not against uh, Brees Hall and the Jets very often. Delay of game coming in. This is unfortunate for them. Take your time and use the clock and try and get set up. But once it gets near five seconds, that's when the offense is back in the gun. Stevers moving around this a little bit. Now he perfectly bisected outside of Breesall to his right. Wilson sent way farther out right here. Probably just to kind of span this defensive pressure a little bit farther across the field. It's going to be long ball to Conklin, and Conklin gets the toes down. Oof, that is going to be a play on the highlight reel for sure. A similar setup trips initially. Brees Hall though keeps it and now runs it down about two. The, I mean, the, there's four rushes for 80 yards to touch, but this was like probably like 56, 55 or so off of the very first rush, a rush that was busted wide open for a score. So not a whole lot of pressure, not a whole lot of success since then from Brees Hall. Here comes the receiving duties, possibly to the corner. Conklin again keeps it inside, and this offensive drive could just be named Tyler Conklin. Wow, that was a great pass. Just to be able to have the Steely resolve to stay where you are for Andrew Rogers with the connection. You don't get two opportunities like that, and when you do, you have to execute next to what they did. Uh, Conklin coming up with all the receiving yards. You can see in that replay down bottom. Big shout out to our production staff. Goated they are. 24. That's more charging down the field right now. Actually gets a little bit extra. There's a little bit extra right there. Looks like he was going to be dead and neutral at the 24, 25, something like that, Novanta. Yeah. But uh, fortunately, Novanta is the world rejoicing right now. Hey, the more time to do it, the better you are at it. Just so they know, practice makes perfect. It's a really, really good point, too. And you don't get better practice than, like, really heated competition like right now both players know just what is at stakes nobody giving up anything for free imagine if someone told me a trip to the nfl drops on the line best believe i'd be sweaty try it all the way out there's the screen tony though yeah i read this book they've seen the chapter they've subscribed to the patreon they know every line they dropped him with a backbreaker. Shot the WWE. You saw that? He went <laughs> two different directions. Yeah. Ouch. It was just, uh, what, 316 day yesterday, right? Yep. Oh, heck yeah. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Right Tony. Oh. Two time Tony here. They call him two time Tony because he takes receptions two at a time. First one goes really short one to the right side. Second one a lot closer right now. Are they really? No, they, they they do not. That was like uh, the like the, the two they, they call him Tony two times because he says everything two times from uh 
gangster movie? Yeah, yeah. You know, I believed you, man. I was, I was on a bit of breath. No, oh, you <laughs> ruined my trust. <laughs> I don't put your tempo anymore. Also, I, I'm not gonna lie. It's one of my favorite things, just to give players, b both uh, you know, NFL that I'll probably never meet, and also you know, NFL, esports players. That is Scantling. Okay, no, no, this is wise. This is wise. We're playing clock right now, right? Uh, Juice is now within uh, easy field goal distance. Uh, this is 28, so fresh set of downs here, fresh set of downs there, fresh set of downs again to waste all this timeout if Neighbor starts utilizing this timeouts, which obviously they will to create pressure. you got to now set the clock against Juice Tay. Let's see how many timeouts we're going to use in the first half. Haven't really been the forte with these two teams. Oh Jekko gets minute. to the first and not much more. That's wise. It's wise. It, it, it looks weird, people. If there's any traditional, like NFL fans aren't watching Madden right now, then you're like, hey, that was a wide open play. That should have been seven points on the board. Yeah, I get that. But the, the placing yourself down the ground like it's a picnic is kind of weird. <laughs> let's let's be real. Just kind of like hanging out down, like kind of laying on your side, <laughs> propped up your helmet with one hand. Like, hey, guys, you guys yeah. ring the Capri Suns? <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. That's kind of weird. <laughs> slide, brother, slide. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> Changes now. There's this one Pacheco, yeah, and, and he's going to give him the middle of the field right now. Here comes timeouts. This one coming from Juice Tay, realizing that second and four is not gimme territory. Now, neighbor, be waking up. Pacheco actually hit inside, and so this is Juice Tay saying, like, hey, give me, give me this one back. Give me this one back. I want 26 seconds. That's plenty of time to cook. Oh, tie game city it is. And even though the time the timeout was uh, used by the Jets side, didn't really uh, stop the bleeding there. And I wonder what 26 mm. seconds can mean for Juice Tay and company. Probably not much, but I've been fooled before. Hey, everybody clip it. This is a Juice Tay Jet squad that scored at one second. They had one play. One play at the end of the first half in game number one. A score difference that would come forth and net them a neutral position coming into an easy field goal for the dub. Now, marching down this field, two timeouts. Uh, this is 75 yards, he's seven. There's a big in, there's Gibson, and a hold on to this one. That's 25 or so deleted off from what they needed up to the 47. It was off balance, the catch, but it was still brought down, and that has just been the good luck that Juicy has been having with their completions. 22 yard pass in the previous, Reese Hall. Sent on blocking duties for this one. Across the middle, Wilson drilled down. There's another timeout, though, but we are now comfortably within field goal territory. Take 37. Yeah, at about 18 or so, that's where they need to go. 53 is definitely doable. I'm surprised they didn't go for the field goal, but if they can touch down from here, let's see if they have in mind. Streaks, yeah, definitely. Out to the outside, Brees Hall take this one to the outside to stop this clock. That's going to make this uh, so much more easy field goal positioning if that's what they're going for. Given that they're 12 seconds left and you don't have time to take an infield pass and then get down and spike the ball, uh, you know, obviously meaning that you get the first down here. Uh, that's just not enough time. Now it's another shot to the flat, I would assume. Yes, it is. No thrown outside and maybe just burning a little bit of clock now. Got to give credit to both players and both teams are really treating each quarter like it's the last one. Uh, a lot mm -hmm. of times people kind of want to say, okay, let's get rally in the second half. We're not seeing that here. Every second counts. Those some two slants. That's what it looked like. They're obviously changing things up right now. Look at Got to get this one out. That, that would have been disastrous if this was a... If this was a sack, this is a sack. There is no spike in the ball territory. Now Juice Tay opportunity to put a field goal on, a field goal that spelt the difference in game number one. I uh, talked about playing with a little bit of reckless abandon, but got to go with the safe choice here. Still in the first half. Get some advantage any way you can take it. Two seconds left. We will be getting a kick off here and an opportunity for a single play. Again, folks, neighbor gave up a touch in the last second of the last. They're going to be wanting to get this one back. Yeah, feel, yep. A, a fair catch. Just, just want to get a 
single opportunity at a big bomb. I say that Juice Tay finished, uh, you know, our neighbor finished the end of the first half last time in a similar situation with getting the ball back right here and a single play. They handed Pacheco right at the middle just for a guaranteed down and to push it into the second half. This is not what's going to happen this time. But Mahomes rolling out. It's a bomb outside. There's a lot of jerseys down there, but Ooh. nobody brings it down into the second half. We go. Definitely saw three different outcomes with that pass, with the one that makes me go, uh, oh, was what we got. Uh, it was dropped, but it was a sea of white and a sea of green. They gone either way. One of those situations like, yeah, like you said, there's three different uh, outcomes and two of them are bad. Or one of them gets you no points. One of them possibly sets up a bad situation running back the other way, but not going to happen. Not going to happen. Neighbor receiving this ball in the second half. Juice Tay scored in the first like eight seconds of theirs. It'll be Neighbor's opportunity to now go forth, put a touchdown in and take this lead back. You know, when you play Madden there, Tugboat, do you try to milk the, the halftime period? Do you try to, like, you know, stretch your fingers out, or are you kind of blocked in? I I try to, right? Like, I I don't think I could have done the same kind of, like, actual calculus that Juice Tay did in the first— I mean, both of these players did at the end of the first game, though, right? Like, I, I was calling for neighbor timeouts earlier than that, but he reads the, the first down markers even better than I do, given how many, you know, how many first downs and stuff like that were left, so— Fantastic utilization to answer your question. I try to, but uh, the, uh, the the efficiency maybe not the same rate. Ah, fair enough. I mean, I think you're a better Madden player than I am, or I just get really angry really quickly. It's fine. <laughs> this game does this game it does have a unique ability to irritate, though. That's for sure. Ooh, Pacheco. Wave, weaving this one around Davis. Davis uses the right side on this one, but does give up a couple of extra yards. Pacheco. 18-yard catch and run on this one. Uh, a little bit of help from the servers there, but doesn't matter. Jukes both <laughs> the defenders to get himself a nice completion. And the gun mostly solo. There's a nice snatch out the air. Carter the second now going to come forth and flip this momentum on its ear. You got to see that one again. You saw that almost like... Uh, Cheat on the Serengeti, just waiting to strike the full out stretch, and now we're going the other way. It's done. What is that? Fort Valley State University neighbor. It's out of Georgia here, going on against Juice Tay out of North Carolina. That's going to be rush just to keep this clock running, maybe? I, I don't see this as a. I mean, it is the second half here, but I don't see this as a situation where you're going to continue to play this one, all, especially now down Lazard. Takes the screen. Oh no, Boy Doe gives up a lot of yardage. Now pushing this one out. Lazard takes a big end up the sidelines. Oh, that's unfortunate. You knew where you had to be, so you did the player swap, but then you just got a little bit confused, disoriented of where your player was, and it was a juke in the wrong direction. Opening up the path for your opponent is something you're going to kick yourself about for many, many hours after the game. A run in field, a pass in field doesn't matter here. You, if you're Juice Tay, you can basically utilize your first down to just keep this clock a running. 30 seconds at a time is basically a lifetime within the game of Madden, and given what is left, this half of football here. Again, Juice Tay up 1-0, guys, if you're just joining us. R1 is going to be the decision. Gibson again snatches this one out of the air, just like Carter the second did a couple of plays ago. Forget about getting the accurate power for that pass. It was definitely under pressure. A second and a half too late, and you would have Aaron Rodgers on the ground. Speaking of Rodgers, bringing in. Just a little bit more. That's Garrett Wilson. Brees Hall going to get a little bit of a pocket up the middle and makes a little something for it. Three yards is going to be the advantage as this clock keeps a running. They are going to have to snap it within this quarter, though. 36 on the... Oh, no. Excuse, yeah, 36 on the play clock, 37 on the game clock. Uh, yeah, only one second separates that. Let's see if we're going to have ourselves a touchdown party. But either way, it was a fantastic effort with the interception to set him up for the success here. Brees Hall out to the first down. The fourth quarter we go as Juice Tay is set up very well right outside the end zone. So let's talk about this one. It looked like we were going to go back and forth. And it was all for neighbor to get themselves a touchdown, but it really was a fantastic and spectacular player catch to go the other way. And now this could be the game-breaking moment for Juice Tay if you're focused. I, I will not be surprised if Juice Tay 
if you say takes this, I won't be surprised if this uh, comes off the back of that defensive play, just making uh, the, the biggest difference. Reese Hall beating feet and getting around a lot. A single yard. He, he gets a single yard up after having run much 40 horizontally or so. Um, but, but uh, yeah, like coming into this, we can't be surprised because defenses have mostly been doing really, really well. Haven't forced any turnovers except for that interception. But this has just been a game of both players with like very short methodical uh, plays outside of the big bombs that they get to drive up this field and really set themselves up for touchdowns. Now, a loss of two on the previous run. You stay maybe feeling a little bit of pressure now. Well, pressure's been on because if you walk away with a field goal, yeah, it was an opportunity that wasn't presented, but it will pretty much not make you feel any easier about your prospects of winning. He's all again, gets a solid blocking, gets oh. around to the left side with a little bit of stiff arm, and Breeze Hall puts another six on the board. That wasn't a stiff arm, that was a urinagi. That was a sit down, son, <laughs> I'm walking here, and now he has another touchdown. I'm walking here. Love it. Love it. I want to go to New York and just hear that one time, because you hear it in movies all the time. Never in my multiple times going to the big city, Big Apple. Have I ever heard anyone actually say that? Yeah, we don't have time to talk to tourists. We just, you know, just <laughs> honk fair. our horns and walk away. <laughs> That's fair. I'm assuming you guys care about me more than you do. That's true. <laughs> right. Classic tourist mentality. Hey. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Is this one to the 12 or so? More going to call for the fair catch. Neighbor knows what is at stake and is be setting this one up. Hopefully six for success. The 25. Of the late hits by the Chiefs away from the ball. The refs not even look at that. Uh, yeah, definitely a do or die situation. Fourth quarter, you got to score here. If your name for the question is, how do you want to do it? Are you going to do small ball first? Are you going to do the Hail Mary situations first? It's up to you. But you can't walk away from this one empty handed. Everson agreed. Tony? Ooh. Almost up to the first. Only allowed 143 passing yards. That's pretty crazy. Well, there's another 20 or so. And at that total, 10 for 15 on 172 for Patrick Mahomes. Lighting players up mostly on the line right now. Mostly closer to the line of scrimmage, the middle part right here, I should say. Mahomes surveys field, now tries to scamper out. That is a dangerous attempt right there. Yeah, I understand trying to get out of the pocket, maybe get some steal some yards, but it almost felt like once that happened, it was a swarm of green. Mahomes had nowhere to go. Sea of green like a beautiful ocean. Shot right across the middle again. Valdez Scantling in Kadarius Tony's position. It's going to be a similar play with a similar result. Well, imagine that. You don't do the Hail Marys or you don't do the field goal. Here's a chance to do things while running the clock and making sure the pressure's on Juice to score again. I like this from Neighbor. Speaking of pressure defensively, Brad backed up a lot right here. Forces, there you go. So this is such a good play. Uh, Juice Tay just realizes this is going to be a pass 100%. Pacheco has just not been trusted as much by neighbor in this. It is going to stop the clock, so one more play before the two-minute warning. But after they back the coverage up right here, it's just a matter of time before this all defensive line gets to Mahomes. Yeah, it's kind of interesting how big brain underneath the chaotic passing and play calls from Juice Tay, how big brain the offense and defense is. Oh, oh, there's a pick! Hall on the other side! Hall's on both sides of this ball coming in with a big effect. Ten-point game on the 15. Two-minute warning about four seconds to go as Juice Tay just got in much better position. This is in boxing. Look at this replay. A boxing, we call that a feint, right? Putting yourself in a position you think you're going to go one way and you hit with the other side. That's exactly what happened. It's another interception for Gang Green. And this is no reason, zero reason to do anything but run this ball a couple of times. Breeze Hall right up the middle. No advantage, but that moves this clock. And there's a timeout coming for York. Kansas City Chiefs. Unfortunately, lights are pretty much going out here in Kansas City, barring a miracle. They could use one right now. Haven't seen an interception from neighbor in a long time, but they could use one right about now. So two interceptions, two INTs against Patty Mahomes here in the second game of this series. Brees Hall run again. There's the timeout. Now 
you're talking about passing territory. You do not want to try for another run and then the timeout called for neighbor because you're talking about turnover on downs. You're talking about terrible field positioning that you're going to give to Patrick Mahomes. That's a dangerous situation. And that would come off the back, of course, or the onside kick attempt would come off the back of that as well. So Brees Hall right here, fourth touchdown, or fourth touchdown. Third time out, excuse me, fourth and 16 right now. I actually see a punt here in this game. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? That's exactly what's going to come, especially given that they're so, so close. Do not want to give up good field position and force Patrick Mahomes and neighbor to spend a lot of time getting this ball here. Almost got blocked. You saw that? That was a blink of an eye. We'll go to the way now. James gets passed a little bit, so let me start in this one. They're 47 or so. Even if, so, remember, folks, they get a field goal. They can still get the onside attempt after that score, and that that's exactly what's gonna be on neighbor's mind right now, right? Yeah, you, you have to go go forth, get this one, probably spend less than 30 seconds doing it, and then go for the onside kick to try and retain possession. That's a big one for Kadarius Tony right here. I'll be honest with you, it's definitely possible, definitely doable, but it has a lot of steps on that plan for it to, to work for them. So I like their chances, but I have to admit, the chances themselves are pretty small. Definitely agree. Definitely agree. I mean, onside kick, we've literally only seen one uh, successful onside kick recovery uh, across the whole eight weeks, right? Yeah. Yeah. Pacheco right here. They're going to be getting the first down plus a little bit more. Got to keep these this clock a running. Got to go. Spike coming in second and ten after a little bit of back and forth on the line of scrimmage comes. Ooh, I can't believe the biggest opponent is always going to be the clock when it comes to games like this. But this is why we love tension here in Madden. Will Patrick Mahomes do it? That's a question I have right now. Can he do it? Definitely. Will he do it? He's done it before. The onside kick is really the big question right okay. now as Patrick Mahomes sacked right now. They can take yeah, they can take the spike and just go for a one last play type situation or maybe just pick this one up. So Audible's called. Gotcha. So intentionally moving a Chiefs lineman to stop this clock and take a little bit of a flag. Move it back a little bit. Sure the smartest play. Oh, well, they could do is stop the clock. So I mean, it's a big bomb, regardless. But like you said, they got to stop this clock. Mahomes surveying field, looking for it. That's going to be Kelsey, and inside Kelsey gets it. Oh man, talk about clutch! Take a look at this one right here. Travis Kelsey has just been that guy, that dude, and make sure that Casey's still in the game. Twenty seconds to go right here. Is plenty of time to get this ball back and. It's something going on the offensive side of this ball again. Here comes the onside kick attempt. Butker, this is one over. Conklin gets it in the hands and going to be dragged down. This game is over. Wow. Uh, it looked like the ball is going to be stripped. It's because it was a little bit of a, a mountain of white Chiefs uniforms, but holding on to it all but seals this one away. A three-point game on both of these, 24 to 21 in this, unless Juice Tay feels like giving them an opportunity. Yeah, not going to happen. We're looking at a 31-28 game, so a field goal comes in and does have the difference in both of these, especially given that Juice Tay finishes this with only a three-score difference, right? Only the field goal difference, but has two interceptions, whereas the other side got nothing. This just speaks to just how well Neighbor was playing after those defensive mishaps. Yeah, definitely a bend don't break off is there from Juice Tay because they did have the extra effort on defense to get those recoveries. Haven't been as efficient with the ball, but it was kind of found a way to win. So that's what we're saying. It's a scrappy kind of play, kind of fitting for the New York Jets, to be honest with them. And they are going on to the next round. Absolutely. Absolutely love it. Neighbor will be saying uh, adios to you for now. Fantastic job competing $500 on the day as well. It is not too shabby. We'll be moving on along with our bracket and taking a look at our winner's side here. Yes, that is No Mercy Lambo, which I do not believe we have seen on broadcasts so far. And Luke, no Mercy, no Mercy Lambo was a week one contender who punched their ticket a long time ago. Luke plays, of course, we did. We'll be seeing them in just a little bit, guys. Short break. FBI Tugboat Navant will be back with you then. We get how uncertain the future is. 
We'd come of age in a complex world, face to face with problems we didn't create. So what's gonna happen next? We are. Because our future is the future. The life we have chosen has prepared us for this. So we're going to build bridges and hospitals in a day. We're gonna save families from disasters and feed those left in the cold. We're going to do all this and more because we have an appointment with destiny. We invite you to join us. The next greatest generation is now.
Hello and welcome back. A short break, it was indeed. Folks, we just came hot off the heels. That was Juice Tay putting down Neighbor. This was a matchup that went 2-1 last time, Navanto. Yeah, absolutely. I felt like even though Neighbor played better, arguably today, it just was Juice Tay's run. That redemption arc is real, and they move on. Yeah, so that's going to be Juice Tay. Now, uh, secure in third. Uh, big shout out. You know, uh, Neighbor is still going to be taking $500 in the old pocket for playing some Madden across these four qualifiers. Got to love that one regardless. But big dogs are still yet to come. Coming in from the winner's bracket is No Mercy Lambo representing Towson University. And Luke plays lacrosse. Again, that is Clark University out of Atlanta, Georgia. Wow. Well, we saw Luke plays lacrosse yesterday and because I pondered about the last time I played lacrosse because it was so, so <laughs> painful. But what may be painful is this. It's a winner's bracket, which means you have that extra life in hand. So if you win, you get to go to Detroit. If you lose, you have to battle it out one more time to see if you can qualify as well. So talk about stakes. You're getting that, a lot of that in this one. Exactly. And either of these players, worst case scenario, they lose this match, then they lose the match against Juice Tay from the Wit Losers finals. Still $500 in the old pocket. Of course, that has been guaranteed again for Neighbor as they exit in the fourth position. Now, looking at this one, we'll be getting teams confirmed for you guys in just a little bit. But if uh, memory serves, or if I wrote this down correctly, Luke, Luke plays lacrosse. Favoring the Chiefs cannot be any surprise there. Yeah, favoring the Chiefs is something we've seen a lot uh, in this tournament, and we've kind of made a couple of jokes and barbs about it, but it really comes down to how you pilot that team. We've seen so many different versions of what Pat Mahomes and company could do, so is that a guaranteed win? Obviously, not a guaranteed cheat code, but you got to be able to, you know, ride that horse. I mean that figuratively, of course. Uh, it's the best way you can mm -hmm. to make sure you get that dub, so it'd be kind of cool to see how they would do that if they do pick the Chiefs here today. Yeah, so... I, I, it's so interesting to say too, right? We've seen so much Chiefs play that we've seen like so many variations of how this team has been played. Uh, nobody has really gone on like the just receivers heavy, right? At the absolute least, Travis Kelsey is always going to be involved within that receiving duties. Now, as well, P uh, Pacheco, we have seen Pacheco play pretty much just a bodyguard. We've seen Pacheco play the boots on the ground, heavy hitter, right on the line of scrimmage, taking this rock and running it very, very frequently. We've also seen Pacheco sent out for receiving duties, especially against man co uh, zone coverage, excuse me, that's mostly paying attention to, to players who are re wide receivers or named Travis Kelsey. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's correlation or cross race, but I think teams that use Pacheco as more of that boots in the ground, that infantry shoulderman, tend to do fairly well, especially with the style of play here with everyone playing out of the gun and everyone going right down the middle of defensive plays. But hey, maybe I'm just, uh, you know, doing a non-scientific eye from the sky situation mm -hmm. because Travis Kelce is going to be your X factor. He's elite for a reason, and so is Pat Mahomes. So it really comes down to whether that you find a way to win, regardless of the tools you have at your disposal. Yes, obviously, what Mahomes with power-ups of his own, very mobile quarterback and everything, Kelsey specifically with the double knee power-up, meaning that it's a higher chance of catching it when he is single covered. This is going to consistently require personnel and resources that are limited from defenses. Anybody operating the Kansas City Chiefs has got to know this one and play that to their advantage. You know, we talk about the Chiefs a lot. We did see a couple of Buffalo Bills. We see a couple of New York Jets. I'm almost positive knows an Apollo team we haven't seen here before. But I got to ask you a question. Talk about what has been your favorite matchup so far as far as two different teams coming mm -hmm. together. Uh, it could be mirror I, matches too, I guess. No, because... I got you. I, I, well, it's not going to be Chiefs on Chiefs. I'll tell you that much. I like you giving me the wiggle room right there, but not Chiefs on Chiefs. Uh, just based on teams, not the actual like action on the field. Sure. I got to say that we we got that uh, we got that Baltimore Ravens and Buffalo Bills matchup. That one was it, it was at least very unique players and whatnot, and I think the utilization of the running game there within uh, within Baltimore was fantastic that was a bills squad that came up on top that came up on top off the back of a fantastic defensive squad again jordan foyer vaughn miller and uh and the third player whose name is escaping me right now always playing very well in defense as linebackers and always snagging this one out of the air Oh, absolutely. I, well, I forgot, yeah, I forgot about the Baltimore Ravens did make a, an appearance there. I, I got to say that I have I was going to say the Bills about a day ago, but that Jets run <laughs> has been epic. It has been something yeah. that we're taking notes of, and I'm still trying to figure out how the heck. Obviously, on paper, the weakest team you've seen here on these streams are on a run, which goes to show you sometimes having the tools isn't necessarily the most important thing, but how do you execute them? So I, I guess... I, I, 
Oh, sorry. Go ahead. My bad. I so I guess I, I'm, I'm, I was Bills. But I'm kind of like heading towards uh, the other side of New York or Jersey. I get you. I uh, the way I the way I look at it is that these teams have gone forth and played. Like you have to prepare against the Kansas City Chiefs, right? Uh, you can assume that a lot of players are gonna be playing against this. And it, it, if you have only so much like practice time, again, limited resource, right? Then you're going to be using this to kind of like figure it out against the Kansas City Chiefs. That is held indicative, of course, because we are getting the confirm here. We got another mirror matchup. I'll let you guess who it is, folks. Uh, I'm thinking the Bengals versus the Bengals. I've been <laughs> asking the Bengals for it. weeks. I'm just... Well, I would love to see it as well. Lions on Lions. Utilize them. Get some Jared Goff in here. No. Yeah. It's going to be Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. We will, of course, have uh, home field territory for one, home field territory for the other. And then if we go to a map number three, we'll be looking at a neutral venue for no home field advantage for either of these two players. Well, we saw the cast of characters before, but it comes down to how it's going to be executed. We hadn't really seen uh, No Mercy Lambo in a long time on stream. Let's see what's up their sleeves. See, indeed. This is Miko Hardman Jr. taking it out. Novantas of the world rejoicing, especially now. Runs down the big man, gets it to the other side, and only for the 25. I thought he was going to spin in for a little bit more at the end. Not going to happen. You know what it reminds me of when you're trying to find a quicker way to get home after work, but you take the long <laughs> way and take the same amount of time, but it's less traffic, so you feel better about it. So that's what I saw there. I liked it. <laughs> I love that. Like the the idea of like, man, this Google Maps doesn't know what they're talking about. Ways, ways, a name like ways. You think I'm gonna trust a name like ways? No, I know better. I lived here. I live here. I'm I'm a human being. I can adjust. <laughs> nope. Feels like it feels like it's very infrequent that I'm faster than the gps unfortunately <laughs> yeah after that l plenty of times but uh it, it does look like it's going to be a different kind of flavor that's definitely a run we don't see too often here hopefully it's a a, a of something cool something different something fresh okay so a little delay a game mercy lambo possibly just trying to deploy a little bit more time on the defense to pick out what they want luke plays is not going to accept this one and allow his opponent a little bit more time again hey sportsmanship that's what we're all here for I mean, you guys can't be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for embarrassing my teammate. No, I'm totally kidding. I'm here for his partnership, sure. Um, with it, with it. I mean, hey, only one of these team players is gonna punch their ticket on this competition, on this specific game, off the back of. Hey, we got another delay coming on in here. You're figuring out some things. Oh, this is this is gonna be no mercy, Lambo. Excuse me. They're picking playbooks as of right now. That 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 is actually a fantastic question. Is there any? Like you're playing the Chiefs, right? Because you want this crew on your side, this uh, high-rated offense, high-rated defense on your side, led, of course, by Patrick Mahomes. Uh, is there any playbook change-ups that you're going to go through? Any deviations away from Andy Reid here, Novanta? I mean, it's hard to say that because Andy Reid is kind of like, whether you like his uh, football mind or his love for burgers, it's kind of one of the top of what he does. And <laughs> so it'd be small tweaks, if anything. And this isn't like picking the Titans and saying, hey, look, I want to try something a, a little bit off the wall. I mean, if it works, class of the league for a reason. Yeah, we'll see how this continues to go right here. A little bit of back and forth. I'm not sure if there's a connection issue or what right there. Speaking of what, we're looking at, uh, yeah, both East Coast, both East Coast players. So I don't believe that server would be an issue here, like really whatsoever. I don't believe there's like a closer one to to, to Georgia or a closer one farther north that said they'd be closer to Towson University or what. But we'll be we'll be getting it figured out in just a second. Getting right back into it. There you go. Big shout out to our production staff over here with Rally Cry. That is, uh, yeah, they're, they're awesome guys. Morak, Aster, everybody else behind the scenes helping out, making our job deskcasters that much easier. This one's thrown out in a flag, two flags in the first two plays of this game. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, a nice king game. Clean game seems to be out of the offing already. Uh, flags are about a lot more flags we saw in the first quarter of this one than we saw in the last few series altogether. So, hey, kind of a good sign. <laughs> Especially like, I mean, unintentional penalties, right? There was a couple encroachments there that were done to purchase a little bit of time. Like, hey, yeah, you, you can get up, you know, you can split the difference between one and a half yards down to, a, you know, three quarters of a yard. So that's fine. I don't care. You know, you're almost guaranteeing at that point. A big pick early. Johnson, number 13, lurk and cue the Jaws music because he is going to bite. Well, this here is interesting because there were some games we didn't see interceptions at all. You thought one of that was even a function, but right in the line, right when it needed to be, it was almost unbothered, and it's going the other way. Unbothered in his zone, vibing 
here for No Mercy Lambo. Got the cruise control and the Lamborghini here now for Patrick Mahomes, 16 yards outside. This is, I mean, not guaranteed points, but you're right here. Now it definitely is after Valdez Scantling is left wide open. Well, the catch was great, but the tumble is what's going to make it on the highlight reel, your local newscast. Look at this one. Just so much space, so much time. You didn't get the full replay there, but I can tell you it was great. It was. It was. Valdez Scanling brings this one on and in. We're going to be in the Superdome here in New Orleans as well, folks. So neutral venue here first. Obviously, away colors for No Mercy Lambeau. Kickoff coming in just a little bit. Will the Navantas of the world rejoice for being shambles? Uh, <laughs> only two options there. And you know, it's about the neutral site and how important that is. But one of the most important things about being in the dome, no wind. A wind, indeed. Indeed. Like kickoffs, extra points have been perfect so far. Across our championship weekend, Saturday, now into Sunday, we have had two two-point conversion attempts. One of them hit. Uh, and that one really did go forth to decide that game. A lot of pressure put in offensively. We've also gotten a safety, right? That was uh, that was open qualifier four, right? Yeah, we did get a safety, which I didn't think was possible because I haven't <laughs> seen a safety be a decider in such a long time in this game. Here we go another pitch and run here to Pat Isaiah Pacheco. Is this one up? Thirty-two yards, longest pass for this offense so far for Luke plays lacrosse. Short one, Valdez Scaling just drilled down right there. IRL, these are some of the hardest hits that you're going to see coming from behind, not quite being able to see the defender as well, Novanta. That is definitely true, but definitely the ones that have a bit more of the, well, some momentum. But if you're the one that lands those hits, that's the one that gets you hyped really quickly, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. No mercy, Lambo. You get a defensive pick and then a play like that, and then another <sighs> serious application of pressure onto Patrick Mahomes, barely able to get this one out. Patty Mahomes is not pleased. Well, all this mirror match actions got me thinking about a question. If you were the owner of the 33rd NFL team, where would you want to set up shop? Ooh, that is a that is a damn good question. You can't say your backyard. That's that is a really yeah, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> can I right expand here. my backyard? Now, um uh, oh, that was close to a pick. This is a really I mean, I, I Taking the charges out of San Diego, man, like that, that that was brutal. But putting them back wouldn't exactly be the solution. And, and right. you could say the same thing for the this is a really good question. You could say the same thing for the Rams in St. Louis as well. But hey, St. Louis has a football team now, right? They do. Call is the law, right? <laughs> Call. Call is the law. The St. Louis Battlehawks doing battle in the UFL and a, a <laughs> diving it pass attempt there from Kelsey, an uncharacteristic off the mark ball, but Getting back to your question, man. Getting back to your question. I, I maybe a little bit West Coast supremacy, right? Like you're only looking at like seven teams west of Dallas, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or, yeah. I guess I, I, I guess seven. Another. Mm, 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 mm. I'm trying to think of the biggest city like east of Seattle, but before Minneapolis. There's uh, really not a whole lot up there. I, I am one for geographically spanning the map. You know what really? I'm saying? The, like, the we don't need another Wyoming Florida team. Tugboats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be Salt Lake or Portland, basically, if you're doing that. The Great Falls, Montana <laughs> Rapids. Like, <laughs> uh, no, no, no shade against uh, Montana by any means. I was just up there casting an arm wrestling competition, actually. Great, great people, great place and stuff. Not, not exactly your prime NFL location, though. I, I'm going to think about this one. I'm going to think Wait, about this one. If you one. lose an arm wrestling competition, do you like instantly retire? Because I would I would retire out of embarrassment. Man. Oh, no, That's... no. They're, they're 12 matches. There were 12 winners and there were 12 losers, my friend. That is just ridiculous. The Blonde Bear. There was a 78-year-old arm wrestler there. It was honestly inspiring. I, I don't, I don't want to get too, too off a topic here, but uh, and, and, and pulled very, very well against a 28-year-old. It was uh, just the man's story was amazing. Guys, if you're interested, just bl the Blonde Bear arm wrestling on the Google. I, I did not know that existed, and they got tugboat. That's crazy. They got the boat. Got the boat. <laughs> they got the boat for the first time, maybe more. Who knows? Fourth and five, <laughs> though, coming up here for No Mercy. Lambo had a fantastic offensive plays earlier, and then doesn't get this one out and turns it over on downs on the fifty. Well, that, that is about as bad as it gets. Yeah, to say it's a fourth is a bit of an understatement. And that's when you go from bad to worse. Literally opening up the a map of the United States of America. Are you kidding questions. me? That, 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 that's one of the best questions I've been asked in a while. Because, again, geographically expanding 
is 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 what I'm all about. Again, we do not need another Florida team. We do not need another New York or New Jersey or team Texas. before you say so. Yeah, do, do not need another Texas team by any means. Mm-hmm. Memphis is Memphis eight. Hey, speaking of UFL, Memphis has got one of those. Um, yeah, with well, the most weirdest name though, Trouble still doesn't even exist anymore. But that's besides. Yeah, the it was it was it was definitely unique. Uh, definitely unique. Like okay, so uh, here's my qu- my answer: either Boise or Salt Lake City. Boise or Salt Lake City are two different vibes, man. I'm asking. They're very, you, very, you, very different vibes. What, what would you like if you were if you were like? Would you pick one? Yeah, again, geographically spanning. I'm going Idaho, and Rishi Rice is going to the North Pole. It seems oh, that's man. a big one here for an answer when it was very, very required. I'm not sure what's more important, the touchdown or the clothesline in the back of the head afterwards. <laughs> Raph, where are you at? That was awful. Uh, here, here's the real answer to the question. Next, okay. uh, you know, 33rd NFL team, uh, either Mexico City or Vancouver. You know, it's funny. Get in international Madden, with it. In, in the Madden games for a long time, you can, like, use uh, Mexico City to, like, leverage your team to pay up for your stadium in the franchise mode. <laughs> I'll move okay. my team to Mexico City. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. I I, uh, I I feel like I've heard that before, but it's been quite yeah. a while. But no, I get international with it, right? I mean, right. MLB, NHL, both involving in other countries. I'm with it because, you know, Mexico City is so high above elevation. It totally would like, make any team that comes to town weak. <laughs> <laughs> it's like six thousand feet, man. It's huge. Is it even yeah, you get than that. Uh, well, they get that that Denver effect, right? I think Minneapolis <laughs> is pretty high up there as well. Yeah, absolutely. Wait, no, they're not. They're right on sea level. Oh, cool. okay, maybe not. I, cool. I thought I thought they were high. Never mind. Ooh, oh, Pacheco, Pacheco high on the offense. Yeah, exactly, dude. Nicely done. Nicely done. They're the big bomb runs this one to the right side. Uh, I I gotta say. Both of these players just don't seem prepared for the Isaiah Pacheco's of the running offense, man. Like, hey, the running offense is just getting it done right now. Seems to be that Pacheco was a cheat code, as we were saying before the game even started. So why not utilize him? Albuquerque. Eh, Albuquerque. I'm not, I'm not feeling that one. Salt Lake City or Boise. Probably Boise. Yeah, I'd rather move the Cardinals first for having a the <laughs> <out> there. <laughs> the Albuquerque Cardinals. Eh, that like doesn't it. flow. Doesn't flow as much. Yeah. New Mexico Cardinals. Eh, I don't know. Yep. Nah. Montreal, Ottawa, Mexico City. They have their own league up there. <laughs> well, they do. Hey, CFL. CFL, uh, obviously, very, very different, right? Much, much right. larger field. Different, uh, r- really crucial different Look rules. Out. There's Johnson, though. Johnson showing up for picks on both sides of this. Nicely done. Well, that's what happens if you have a mirror match, right? You just got that threat on both ends. Look at this one. Uh, it wasn't great, but it looked like he was an attended receiver the way it was just so clean, so clinical. But that guy says, I'm going. Guess what? The other way. <laughs> I'm going. You can meet me there. No mercy, Lambo. <laughs> Two picks, same player. User lurk both times. Again, no mercy, Lambo needs the, needs the Jaws music if he's going to be punching the ticket and going on into Detroit, Michigan. Well, if my answer would have been Portland, personally, but that's just me. I, I do like Portland. I was looking at that one as well. Obviously, a much larger city, you know, in its in its own right. Look out! I was really considering being like really BM with it and be like, you know, we should uh, we should finally give a team to Atlanta. You know, we should finally give a team <laughs> to uh, team. to Indianapolis. You know? <laughs> oh, oh, I was very close to not being good. I, I was thought very I close. hit the pole. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Atlanta has have a team in years. <laughs> Columbus. Eh, oh, nah. nah. It's the Cincinnati nah, nah. Bengals and, and the Browns. And Pittsburgh oh. right there, yeah. I mean, okay. Pittsburgh, Cleveland. Uh. Addy, it's like literally all right there. Columbus is like dead in the middle. Who would they even pull? For, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, exactly. Who, who does pull Columbus pull for? Do you, you you stay within the within the state and pull for the Browns and kind of like hark back to the you know championships past? Do you go a little bit southwest to Cincinnati? Go for Joe Shiesty, Joe Cool down there? Just, you know, I, you pick a random team in Ohio at that point. The Youngstown <laughs> Youngins or something. <laughs> <It's a Leo. laughs> Checo once again receiving duties gets past one, does not get past the second. Uh, perhaps a juke to the left side again. Eye in the sky, easy to always say that one. Yeah, you pretty much mortgaged uh, one yard and lost four for it, but you gotta love anyone that decides to use the uni- uh, user-generated jukes because of how risky they can be of being stripped from the ball. Mm, 
Speaking of, that was almost coming back to it. Six and 13 for Luke plays lacrosse as Patrick Mahomes, which isn't great, but of those six passes, he is averaging about 25 yards per. Well, got a fantastic bomb one more time. Thank you so much, production, for that. And having both feet in there, wow. The resolve. Just right on the end, like right on the line as well. Play clock in a. Getting started along with game, a heavily, heavily loaded left side as of right now. And this is just going to be the screen out to Rice. Rice just leisurely Sunday walk all the way inside, not even touched, barely even looked at for another six on the board. I hate to sound like the show tune from Chicago, but they had it coming, right? There was no one there to stop it down. But hey, you know, you realize you have an opportunity. It's up to you to go through it. And that's exactly what they did. And now we have a closer game than we ever had before. Yes, we did. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Uh, yeah, and sometimes you just have to trust them when they tell you, hey, we're heavily loading this left side. The ball might be going over here, right? Uh-huh. What if uh, a score-heavy game? It's only the first quarter, by the way. 21-14. Yep. I mean, we've seen whole games <laughs> have that kind of score line heading to the fourth, so. We have seen 28 points between Luke Plays Lacrosse, Juice Tay earlier. Juice Tay's Luke plays game two was 21. First for Juice Tay, neighbor 21. Uh, it has been a while since we've seen 35 in the first game. Uh, no, defense, the first quarter, excuse me. Defense, secondary, fine. Uh, well, <laughs> defense, or, secondary. But I mean, you're absolutely right. This is the first game. It's the best of three. Uh, if anything, uh, that would be the one that said defense wins games, right? Because you're not seeing it here. This is true. Ooh, Mikal Hardman Jr. going to be able to stay inside. Get this one, fourth and seven. No Mercy Lambo has just tossed so many fewer passes, but hey, that's because they don't need to, right? Two of these right. points have basically come off the back of picks. Uh, you know, you know the, the the pick coming very like so close to the end zone. Might as well have just fallen inside. Yeah, when you have teams that are scoring like this so rapidly, you have to go with the flow a bit and have a bit more reckless choices in your in your offensive attack, but then you also have the cushion of more time in the game. It's only the second quarter of four, so why not you know try to see what works, what sticks, and double down the ones that do? All about applying pressure this time, Devonta, and you're no mercy, Lambo. Like this is this is wiggle room time. You have time to go forth and kind of figure this out. Put the ball in various parts of the field and just see how these defensive plays are coming for Luke plays for Claus, especially you know how they react to your own audibles. Sending across. Yep, there you go. Yeah. Adam Mahomes, back at it. Fourth the nine and going for it. Indicative of this whole tournament, my friend. Ooh, Edwards gonna get the user lurk again right here. Nicely done, nicely done. Luke plays lacrosse coming out on top of this one. Well, look at this pass right here. I think one more time on the replay. You know, there's a lot of people that would say fourth and nine is definitely grounds for a punt and for reasons like that. Catch and says thank you very much. Yeah, gotta agree with you, Navanta. Got to agree. We we, we want to see a bunch of a uh, bunch of offense. And when we say defense optional, this is exactly what we're talking about. Pacheco off to the races, gets around three and right back to the middle of the field. We got a tie ball game. I've never seen that before in a while where someone goes, I'm going to run into some coverage. How Pacheco got the ball and be able to conserve their boost and then cut back to make sure there was no threat at the end. <laughs> That's how it's done. And just like that, after thinking that No Mercy Lambo had this one in the bag, we're tied once more. Defense optional. They can, they can come out after halftime or not. It doesn't really seem to matter on this one, Novanta. Right. So you could just throw the biggest bombs to a player's name, Pacheco. Now to Scantling, Rasheed Rice even, and some Kelsey action. Kelsey, remember that guy? You know, kind of kind of my quiet compared to See, other Chiefs games, but still there. Like we say that jokingly, but but Travis Kelsey has not been involved on really either of these uh, Kansas City Chiefs teams so far. It has been the Pacheco show so far, 86 yards, 85 yards, excuse me, on six rushes and a couple of touches here for No Mercy Lambo. Well, we're trying to dissect that before we went live with this game. It just seems like if you do have that more of the Pacheco uh, play action idea that you tend to have a bit more fruit uh, on that trace of success. So mm -hmm. I'm not mm -hmm. saying you should bench Kelsey by all means or manly swap him out, but you don't seem to be as essential as you would think. Yeah, but after this, like, 
theme has been established, now you get a, a, a guy who has an actual power up like the double meek power up here within Madden 24 involved in the passing plays. You get a couple plays that dare I say he's the preferred primary receiver, but checkdowns have been utilized fantastic so far. Pacheco right up the middle. He's got one player to beat Cook and gets absolutely fried right there. Ooh. First and 10 plus a lot for Pacheco. Breaking ankles and killing dreams. Cut back once too many, I guess. Got hit by the fifth or sixth option, but still, that's how it's done. Finding a hole, going right through it. Speaking of yet again, oh, Pacheco actually shoves off the defender, number 95, Jones. Just gets shuffled off right there and discarded. It sounds like I have someone who had their spinach this week because that guy was like <laughs> twice the size. Ooh, this one actually bounces off what looked like the top of the player's foot that bounced up and made it, made it look a little bit dangerous. No mercy, Lambo. Two picks and then giving up a pick of your own for a tie ball game. Luke plays is answered in kind. Now he got 57 seconds left. This quarter is plenty of time, as we've seen, for Lambo to get something going. Not with a bat sack like that, though. <laughs> Well, let me ask you a question. Uh, to, uh, talk about we're talking about the different kind of flavors of Kansas City. We're seeing almost two different flavors coming together, but they're almost complementary. What's your thoughts about that? I'm sorry, say the first part again. I was well, I was we reading. <laughs> we were talking about the different kind of uh, ways you can play with a Kansas City cheese, but I do feel like we're getting like two different kinds of oh. cheese that we haven't seen before. But they are playing together in very two different, but at the same time because they're tied two very mm -hmm. similar ways. Thoughts about the way both No Mercy Lambo and Luke plays like so great. I don't know why I could have sworn you were asking me about food in, in Kansas City barbecue again. I just have it on the mind, people. I wow, just have it on wow. the mind. Okay. <laughs> but no, there, man. What's up? Uh, th this is exactly what you were talking about, though. Uh, Pacheco for No Mercy Lambo. It it's it's double folded. First, he's getting a whole lot done. Big bomb about his scantling. And there is the major difference. The passing game for Luke plays the cross. He's just able to find these pockets and thread that needle so much better. And No Mercy Lambo, like, they haven't really done it as much, right? A lot of this has been like on misdirections of Isaiah Pacheco coming out of the backfield and, you know, not actually taking the rock, but that's what they're assuming a lot because he's been taking so many rushes for such crazy positive yardage. Turning him into a receiver has gotten some crazy things done, but the big bomb plays, the big flashy stuff has been Luke plays all day long. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head. It's very similar run game, very similar with the aggression and winning the uh, X button battles if you are a uh, play S2 player or play S5 player. But ultimately, it is the creativity of Luke plays uh, trying different things. I like it. It works out for them. Oh, that was it. Okay. Works out for them so far. <laughs> That's why they have the lead. Was like hit him straight in the back of the head on that one. Like, we wake him up a little bit. Hey, turn faster. Mercy Lambo was enjoying a solid little cushiony lead a little while ago. That was 21 to 7 just a little while ago, just you know, a quarter ago, right? 35 points. First quarter. Bam! Mahomes goes down again as Reed comes into the big stop. Yeah, I couldn't go anywhere. You get from both ends. You couldn't escape. You couldn't drop back anymore. I know where to go. Darius Tony gets past one and on a dangerous play does get out to the first down marker. Six seconds means a single decent little shot to the outside to stop this clock or maybe inside call a time out and then a field goal afterwards. I don't see this being a Hail Mary play, not from the 37. I would say that either, but stranger things have happened here. You got the deficit. You have momentum in the other way. Why not do something to take the other team out of the game? I can de definitely dig the idea of get it done, get it done right now, tie this one up, you know, erase any sort of advantage they had. But this is also make it or break it territory for No Mercy Lambo. This is going to be the last play now as it is going to be Hail Mary time. Cross yourself and say the prayers up and not down as defenders are covering this one completely. 21 to 28 is where we'll be starting our second half. Well, not for lack of trying there, had the time to do it, had the strength to do it, got in the vicinity, got in the downtown district, but just could not bring it down. It's unfortunate, but I like the fact you're able to roll the dice if needed. Yeah, not not against it at all. It's just uh, like if you, if you throw the Hail Mary, you know, obviously they have to return it for like 90 yards or something like that. And that's just going to be tough. 
what, what resulted in a couple of plays of quarterbacks possibly running down quarterbacks with intercepted balls, though? And I always do love to see that. Like, I always love to see, uh, like, how offensive players, uh, like, operate once there is a turnover, like, actively within the play. And there is going to be that, wow, just running behind him, streamlining, where 22 gets mad about that one and throws him down in the end of the play. You want to see? I always just FF at that point. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I, I am not strong or tough at this. Perseverance here from Navanta. Hate to see it, dude. <laughs> yeah, just uh, first you'll succeed, just give up. That's what I do. <laughs> if at first you do not succeed, lie down. <laughs> <laughs> just, just lie down. Shifting things. Jacko, a two step outside of Patrick Mahomes right now as Nicole Hartman Jr. is sent out a little bit farther. This is also baiting a little bit and pulling this indicator of the zone defense edwards is kind of just like crisscrossing this side of the field thrown away no more time wasted for no mercy lambo well this is interesting because i know we kind of in madden go a little bit too have too heavy on the run and gun qb but that was a perfect chance for Mahomes to get some yards on that one and mm -hmm. just end up throwing it away I mean, no advantage first two plays i have to agree with you now with this uh, opening up a little bit as well that is scantily takes the rock but could have very easily given some blocking duties for a Patrick Mahomes who could have came rocketing up from the backside. Just catch the ball, jump on the ground, first down, no harm, no foul. Oof. Well, no harm, no foul. That looks like a lot of harm. Got trucked there. <laughs> Poor Patty Mahomes. A lot of harm, a lot of arm. See how Patrick Mahomes is able to sling this rock afterwards, being able to get it out when pressure does come. But, I mean, Luke Plays has just been coming with the blitz and the offensive pressure. Now, all day and still backing up on the oh. 35 right now. Well, that's I, I feel partially mm. responsible, Tugboat, because I was like, you know what? You could have moved around some more, but don't move all the way back. <laughs> <laughs> Third and 35, that's NFL blitz numbers. You're going the wrong way. <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> hold up the side like Forrest Gump. Like, no, stop. Other way. <laughs> yeah. Patrick uh, Mahomes not going to happen right there. Kelsey weaving his way with no help through. Like 10 yards of extra. There's no mercy. Lambo comes off another bad situation. Fourth and 16 here. The away colors. Decision time. Edwards lurking across the middle of the field. This is a bomb. That is Scantling. That's going to be a little bit farther inside and another turnover on downs. Luke plays across as. Now getting a fantastic position to start this drive. Had the hands gone up, had the hands brought it down. We were talking about how much of a genius that play was to really have a third and 35 convert to a touchdown. But, you know, maybe it's his only a fairy tale. Yeah. Uh, Foud is scaling with another step in front. I mean, just putting a little bit less mustard on that hot dog. Or if you're tugboat, no mustard on the hot dog whatsoever. Just ketchup, chili sometimes. I'll even take a little bit of sliced onions. Whoa, 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 whoa. So ketchup, no chili, no mustard, sliced uh, onions. Uh, uh, chili sometimes. Chili sometimes. You're quoting me here. You got to get uh, it right. <laughs> but, but I'm saying that's not even like Chicago style. So like you're, you're, like, you're like making nobody happy. <laughs> like, hey, I'm eating for one person. <laughs> who's that? Oh, you. Right. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Fair so what, what? Chicago chili dog, the way to go? Uh, I'm just a ketchup and relish guy myself. I, I have to defend my relish. ketchup a lot of places. So Relish, yeah. okay. okay. Relish is great. I, I will also say I am a little bit of a snob when it comes to ketchup. I'm pretty much just going to go with the main, you know, the, the, the main. The main? What does that mean? Two, main? Like, main, main two companies. Like, we're pretty much going Heinz, right? Or? Like, the, the McDonald's ketchup obviously is great. Like, they're, like, the ketchup they make, like, the packets. Yeah. You know, once you leave the country, there's, like, a thing called tomato sauce. That's pretty dope, too. I recommend oh, that. I got so is it not just loaded with ketchup and salt or not loaded with sugar and salt like uh, like our ketchup? It's a lot less sugar, but <laughs> okay, okay, gotcha. <laughs> but not against it, it. Yeah, it's like the LaCroix of ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> a lot less sugar. It was uh, a tomato picked on the vine about a mile away from a sugar cane plant. <laughs> right. A mild hint of sugar. Right. Not against that, honestly, man. Not against that. Like lowering the sugar intake. Well, that's a tasty one for Pacheco as he takes a well placed and well timed catch luke plays across moving the chain still four receptions for 135 yards what 
I'm not sure what's better, the reception of that segue, but uh, let me, I would say I didn't even like uh, hot dogs until I started going to baseball games because oh, you have yeah. dollar dog night. And you're like, well, a burger is $15, but a hot dog is like <laughs> six. Let me get three of those. <laughs> you know? I, I feel like, uh, you know, hot dogs, Cracker Jacks, uh, various, uh, uh, definitely boiled peanuts or salted peanuts, depending on where you're out in the country. Uh, these are baseball time foods. I can't tell you the last time. No, sorry, for Super Bowl, obviously. Outside of the Super Bowl, I couldn't tell the last time I had a hot dog that wasn't at a baseball field. Oh, wow. Super Bowl flex. Love it. You know, we were grilling out, right? I was not grilling yeah. out. I, I put my rear into a, a Lazy Boy, and I let uh, people who are better than me at cooking do it. Oh, so it's a cooking holiday where you're from. You just go, hey, who's cooking on the grill today? Showing up? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just, nice. I just bring meat and uh, sodas. Oh, you're that guy. Sodas. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, oh, geez. That, that was a nice slanted run there for Pacheco. Get going back to what worked for a team. Why not? Yeah, Luke plays just utilized this a little bit less. That was mostly no mercy Lambo that was making Isaiah Pacheco the MVP of the offense on their squad. Luke plays definitely just sparsing the ball around like a lot more here, honestly. This is the kind of thing that Luke plays. Anybody playing, especially a mirror matchup, is going to go forth and take advantage from. Mikkel Hartman says no go. I just don't want to get tackled this play. Maybe next play, okay? Well, kind of a blink of an eye situation. Talk about must score and drives. It's it's mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. early in the fourth, though. I mean, a lot of time to get possession back, but just for the sake of you know, being in the game, I don't know how is it going to be caught if it's behind him? But uh, yeah, Nermercy Lambeau needs something that hit Hater and now. Edwards has been lurking and mostly the user control defensive player for Luke plays. Cannot be surprised when he got up and almost interrupted that one. Nine on 24 for Patrick Mahomes. Did, I, don't, I don't think that's a stat that you could say IRL very frequently. That is definitely true. Uh, both players here have never lost a series. This is the winner's bracket. So nobody really wants to have their first loss right now so late on stream. But as it is right now, if the score holds, Luke plays. LAX will have the game in hand as best of three. Must be a winner and must be a loser for every competition. Of course, this is the best of three, so nobody going to be drilled out after this one. Nobody eliminated. Both players also a guaranteed $500 at least. Loser of this, the best news is they get to face, uh, again, another component. The bad news is it's Juice Tay. Yeah, I mean, and we talked about at nauseum about Juice Tay's re-renaissance after switching teams over to New York. Renaissance. That's the new one. I won't say re- reinvigoration, but Ooh. I didn't want to mess up the syllables. Doesn't get out to the outside. Instead, pushes there when the inside of the field was so much more open. You could have got a slide going like literally anywhere else. Okay, fourth and one. Yeah, it was close enough. Maybe uh, they thought they were going to be the first down, trying to go for the chains, and that's a nine. It happens. Maybe this is a situation where they're thinking short pass anyway, so why not have it done on fourth and one? Well, that is not anybody catching this one. And we got another turnover on downs. That is the longest short pass I've ever seen, Tugbo. Uh, it definitely was. Uh, that was not exactly what I was thinking it was going to do. And good job. You stumped me, Mercy Lambo. Yeah, fourth and one is always so deceptive, especially in a game like this. You're like, well, this is what they should do. But then there's always that like, yeah, man, more daylight, more space. It, it's the Marshawn Lynch question, right? Everybody in the entire planet who's watching this game anticipates you giving the ball to beast mode. Man has named that for a reason, right? Mm. Misdirection. The element of surprise. I like it. Surprise, mother trucker. Look at this one. Oh, the, after with the. Oh, no. Oh. That's unfortunate. Runs in number 52. 52 puts it. Humphrey's like, hey, what, what's going on here? I was doing what I was supposed to be doing. Runs into him third and inches now. Uh, look, at, look, at, look at this run here. Could have been a first down run onto itself. Just got stopped by its own teammate. Mm, now drilled down again for a little bit of a loss right here. Timeouts now coming towards the end of this game. Uh, timeouts. One of the things we kind of forget about in the first half of the game that runs on an accelerated clock, but definitely useful as a field goal attempt here. It's inbound. This is 17 points. That's equal to three scores, folks. I'm not sure if anyone wants to FF here because they're on stream as Championship Sunday, but it looks pretty Pretty much difficult for Nuno Lambo to come back so late in the game. Yeah, I mean, a touchdown, onside kick recovery, touchdown, onside kick recovery, and then getting up for three. Uh, this is, you know, e- even within Madden, that is a rough ask, a Herculean six task. Things. You're fine. Yeah. <laughs> and two things. onside kicks. Yeah, it's, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. 
bombs necessary and Luke plays knows it. Flag coming in. This is gonna be for pass interference right there. Interesting. Huh. Uh I, I, I'm interested because yes, it was pass interference, but it looks like the the refereeing has been so lax over the weekend that I think it would be called. But yeah, it's the right one. Really, really surprising, honestly. Yeah, the, the correct call, I believe that was also like uh, intentionally done as well because that was a step and a half or so in front of your corner right there. And that, that was going to be seven on the board if you did not come forth and interact with this. Here's a question for you. How do you feel about the pass interference rules in the pro league? It's so nebulous that it's almost like new fans are, are kind of confused themselves. And uh, it almost feels like uh, watching deal or no deal where you're like, well, was it? Let's look at the tape. And that shouldn't <laughs> be the case. We should be able to watch a game and say what it is and what it isn't. Yep. But I understand safety is always important, right? Like, safety important, yes. Can, cannot agree more here. But there needs to be more definitive. Agreed. Like, if you're going to have it be as oppressive as a potential first down, no matter where they are on the field, then it has to be like a lot more definitive. It can't be something that's ambiguous, like you said. Hardman Jr. gets inside. That's to be the first of two, or first of three, excuse me, that uh, is going to be required from this team. Interesting that the nearest defender was like, what, five, six yards away? That's something you want to happen. I understand having the tremendous lead, but we've seen leads evaporate pretty quickly in this game. Inside kick attempt coming on in here. Butker's got the positioning. That's going to be a solid bit. Picks this up and now gets outside. This game is over. Wait, it's, nah. Okay, I take that back. I take it's that over. back. We have a two-minute two warning. The fourth? Wow. Oh, he's only got two timeouts. Yeah. So, so yeah, I can't 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 get that one done. Unless this is like I mean, even a pick, but I can't imagine that Luke plays is gonna be throwing this ball, given that that's really the only way the new mercy could win. Yeah, but at the same time, here's a chance to really stunt on your opponent, though. I mean, you can't discount that factor. Hey, style never dies. We're going to know it here. Valdez Scantling getting around, getting down to the bottom. And I do believe that'll probably, yeah, another fresh set of downs. So even if they're playing, if they play this one out, then this one will be uh, you know, methodically, right? And this one will be over. Yeah, methodical, deliberate, whatever you want to call it. Why not do nothing totally off the pale if you have the lead and the time in your favor? But <sighs> you and I both, that's not nearly as splashy, so. Pacheco yet again. Here comes the timeout. This will be Pacheco at least one more time. Burn off about 40 seconds. Gets to a first down. This game's officially over with actually no chance left, right? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I I feel like I want to say that. I think if it was an IRL game, absolutely. But, I, you know, DLC, she codes, it happens. Mr. Reed tries to get inside. Only gets about four on this one. Be another attempt coming in in just a little bit. Conservative ball carry your settings uh, decided on right there. Still going to be going out of the. I mean, if you're if you're 12 yards average on a gun play, hey, why not go back to it? You need one. Just one is all you need, and we see what happens when turnovers on downs happen from fourth and one. It's not pretty. Building this play clock. Delve down a little bit. They could accelerate it on. This might be a little bit of a statement made from Luke plays to no mercy. Like, hey, you know, we could be done with this one. Need to run the clock quite literally here. <laughs> Delay a game. That's gonna be a timeout time out. in the very last yeah. second. Yeah. Again, this is Luke plays trying to make it trying to make a statement like, hey, you know, when could 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 be going on in the game number two right now. Wow. Oh, interesting. I'm not sure they'll come to bite him, but hey. That's going to be a turnover on downs. Okay, excuse me. Dream is still alive here for No Mercy Lambo. No, it's not. Not <laughs> okay. in this game. It's still game two and game three, but it's not alive. It's 87 yards. 87 yards, 60 seconds. No timeouts, though. That's really going to be a big deciding factor here is a whole lot gets decided. Throws Whoop. this one out to the outside. That's going to be Valdez Scanling actually down inside. He opted to hit the ground quickly. That's 10 seconds, 12 seconds or so. They do not have. Am I cast a curse in the comeback? Am I? I could be. So I might be. In... I am. Cast a curse. Wow. <laughs> okay. I, do, yeah, guys, still, still. Okay, 10 point difference. Got to score. Get, get the onside kick recovery here. So still uh, very, very tough plays, but a timeout called the second 
here for Luke Blaze. Absolutely ridiculous. As soon as I started packing up my things quite virtually, it was like, you know what? They're a caster man. We're back in this one. The player is really helping to construct this comeback right now. If it does hit, man. Mercy Lambo back in the gun. He's a little bit up and out his scantling gets this over his defender. Arms were up, but that was not enough to block this one. Now an extra point coming in and will be immediately followed, of course, by that onside kick. The extra point is good. Three-point differential between No Mercy Lambo and Luke plays lacrosse. Oh, man, this is getting curiouser and curiouser. Can you believe the comeback of No Mercy Lambo is able to manufacture this one? That's going to be the flag. The touching. That one will now be over. Oh, man, I just set it up. I cast a curse of that one, too. How did I do it both ways? <laughs> yes, Luke plays actually. Uh, is he actually going to go for it? Looks like he is. No, 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 that's the Neil. Yeah, he's got 10 and, 10 and 1 right next to him. Now now this game is over. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes with a single rush at 10 for negative 1 yards. Wow, how about that? We all knew the scoring prowess of Luke plays uh, lacrosse has just been that good. Uh, high scoring games when they play them, and they also know what to do on defense. I think No Mercy Lambo was the biggest challenge they had so far, but still wins this one by a score of three. I think the biggest statement made here in the second half is by No Mercy Lambo, and with the, hey, if you leave time on this clock, we will go forth and we will take advantage of it. Statement is going to have to be followed up, though, in game number two. A game number two that No Mercy Lambo now needs to take down. Uh, they are on match point. Lose this, you'll be going down to see Juice Tay. I gotta be honest with you. I mean, as anyone I can do it, it's definitely both of these teams. I mean, they're they're very good. They've never lost a series, and that's how you've done for a reason. I'm, I'm sure they both see adversity on the gridiron. Now it comes down to doubling down and execute. Speaking of like adversity and stuff, right? Okay, No Mercy Lambo has dropped. Yeah, did drop a single game. That was against Noah up next in the previous round. Taking a look at Luke plays, yeah, Luke plays has not dropped a map. It was 2-0 against Laka Mo Jr., a 2-0 against Juice Tay. So if you're Juice Tay, you're really, really hoping that it's going to be Luke plays going on in and winning this one, and you get to play against a No Mercy Lambo uh, squad that you have not faced up to this point. And well, having half of the work already done, it's very apparent that it may be a rematch of those two sides, and that'd be something I would want to see. But let's break this down once more time. You had No Mercy Lambo starting off pretty strong. I think they were the first one to score, and I felt like they were the ones that were going to be dictating the pace, and the pace really was there at the end of it. We still were paying the pace No Mercy Lambo was, but ultimately, points matter, not pace. And that's why you walked away with a three-point victory there for LAX. Taking on over to Maryland, a little Baltimore, Maryland action. They're playing where the Ravens do. Love it. Wow. Love it. Yeah, 35 points in the first uh, in the first quarter last time. No mercy. Lambo putting up 21. Luke plays with 14 right there. I, I got to agree with you. The writing was on the wall a little bit. It wasn't done by any means, of course, but writing was on the wall just a little bit. Luke plays, comes back. Ooh, excuse me. Comes back in every way, shape, and form to bring this one down. 38-35. Here's the idea, though. You saw your opponent. You beat them. You bested them. Uh, it really was kind of nerve-wracking towards the end of it. Did you show your hand? Did you show them everything you've already done? Or is there something else? Is there a, a, a stage two or stage three of tricks up your sleeve? You, you need the ribbons out the sleeve. You need the rabbit out the hat. You need the double-sided coin, right? Two heads right there for them to call. Or something right here. Because if you dumped it off, you left it all in the field, as they say within game number one, this is going to be a very rough game number two. Because I don't think that either of these two teams could come forth with like, oh, well, I'm just going to copy-paste my game plan from game one and then do the same thing in game number two and expect the same results i do not think that that is the game plan for either of these two teams in what was in the first matchup a very high scoring this is why you're the brains of the operation. This is the Rally Cry Collegiate Series presented by the Army National Guard. I've got to say thank you so much for sponsoring this one. Soldiers in the Army National Guard show for the community, state, and country when needed the most. They are civilians and soldiers. Guard service is part-time. Soldiers in the Guard can work full-time, go to school, and fulfill their training at a minimum of one week in a month with job-specific training. Learn more at nationalguard.com. Yeah, so these are uh, these are fine folks, first responders. There are issues here at home, and most of them, the vast majority of Army National Guard's members, go forth. They'll have at least part-time jobs, if not full-time jobs, and go forth uh, further their higher education, their state, 
There's national tuition assistance available as well if you're interested. ArmyNationalGuard.com, folks. Getting this game number two started, Luke Play is going to be receiving first. Luke plays with a game in hand. The idea is when they try to do something of become the king of the mountain, slow things down, fully run the clock, just really force the psychological damage of having that game advantage, or do you try to go for the quick win and just put this, knock your opponent out as quick okay. as possible? Okay, I'm going to say No Mercy Lambo is happy with a big fat run to begin with Cook, providing the secondary duty to single rusher 47 yards. Gotta love it. Yeah, what a run there. Take another look at this one. Wow, clean as a whistle. Not as good as it gets. Second rush, not quite as good as the first. 47 on the first, one on the second. Establishing this running game is what No Mercy Lambo is doing. That is a statement with an exclamation point at the end, which, which I guess makes it an exclamation, not a statement. Uh, you're <laughs> absolutely right. Shout out to language arts, y'all. <laughs> The synonym's not, uh, not, not ringing true for me right there. Sorry, folks. <laughs> all rushing yards all day here for No Mercy Lambeau. Now looking at like a little bit of pass action. Edwards pulled back, and that's going to be enough. No, it's not. Excuse me. I thought he got it right into the hands. Well, we were talking about what it means to make a statement early. That would have been one. And it was all drawn up. Just wasn't executed the way they wanted to. Do it again. Fourth and eight. No mercy. Lambo doesn't know the meaning of field goals. That's going to be a pick by Watson in the end zone as well. Wait, what? Up oh, there, there he was, was dropped down at the into the end zone. Okay, no, all right. He was dropped down on the one yard line. Did you not see that, bro? I guess not. I guess not. Seven points is a lot worse than two because they are about as close to a safety as possible. Yeah, I think they broke the algorithm with that one. But hey, that's besides the point. <laughs> first and ten. It's first and ten. Let's do it rushing here would just not be ideal. Uh, this is the time that you go for a nice gun play, just something to give yourself a little bit more breathing room. This is as close as it gets. Yeah, it's kind of scary, kind of nerve-wracking, kind of uh, nerve-inducing, to say the least. But yeah, one of the few times when I would recommend the gun as well, even though we've seen it pretty much 99% of the time. Play a game. Accepting this one. Hey, why not? Take your time. What, what are they going to do? Take half the distance back to the goal. Okay, so I got to go another three inches back. That is okay. This is acceptable. Your proposal is acceptable. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm not a good... Uh, God, I don't got it. I'm out. Men in black. It? Men in black. Really? Which one? You can have my gun when you try it for my cold dead finger. The very first one. When oh. like the farmer guy comes out and, and the alien uh, crashes right, in. Right, right. I'm proposal. sorry, because Men in Black is, is literally my favorite movie of all time. So I got nerd checked. I feel bad about it. Love it. Dude, a Men in Black, fantastic movie. Will Smith in his prime. Talk about about his scantling in his prime. Had to jump for this one. So no yards after the catch. But that's exactly the breathing room that Luke plays the cross needs to start this one off with a bang. Oh, man, talk about Men in Black, you know, all that cool <laughs> You're characters still... and stuff. Uh, but, well, I'm sorry. It was excellent. Like that catch was. And this one, too. <laughs> Love it. Is that Josh Brolin in the last couple of movies, right? Uh, he was in the third. No, not the second oh, that's and right. fourth. That's right. Yeah. Hey, man just hosted SNL. Oh, yeah? For the third time, too. Yeah, yeah. I, I watched a little bit. I don't really watch SNL that much anymore, but uh, but I do when somebody I, you know, I like on hosting. Uh -uh. I'm surprised you do because you don't go to sleep. I figured I'd be too early for you. <laughs> no, it's, too, it's too early for me. It's too early <laughs> for me on a Saturday night. <laughs> right. Early as well as big bomb plays here from Luke plays the cross. That's the second of this drive. Now ending up on the eight yard line. Checo is lined up to his left. Only a single receiver. I believe that's Valdez Scantling. Yeah, number 11 near to his right. But Checo gets no wins. Absolutely no wins. As Luke plays lacrosse, has put this ball through the air, whereas numerous Lambo has put it on the ground. Yeah, Pacheco got tripped up. Uh, unfortunately, didn't get too much out of the gates, but still to be said about the, the way this fortune that's changed so quickly in the first is a lot to say about Luke plays. Pacheco way out. Nobody, only Kelsey on the line. Nobody back with Mahomes. Uh, 
lonely job indeed gets caught up over the own defender Rasheed Rice tackled inside as the receiving plays for Luke plays the cross reigns supreme yet again. Yeah, I'm so glad the injuries aren't on because I'm pretty sure <laughs> Pat Mahomes are ripped an elbow out of his socket. <laughs> Having right. to go cross town the way he did on the other foot. But hey, look, a <laughs> touchdown, the touchdown. Luke plays draws first blood. Yes, they do. Speaking of first blood, there's 35 of them. That is the points-wise in the first quarter of the first matchup between these two teams. Now only seven, much slower pace. The slower pace that was dictated off of a Wilson interception against No Mercy Lambeau on the one-yard line. Luke plays busts off with a fat one to get out and a lot more breathing room, a lot more yardage ahead, and then just drove down the field, passes almost exclusively. Yeah, yeah. That's also important, but not as important as knowing what your favorite movie is there, Tugboat. What is it? Favorite movie? That's such a such a tough question, man. Uh, oh, the gre- like the greatest <laughs> movie overall, like the greatest movie that that pulls themes and genres from nope. all favorite, different kinds is Ghost. Movie. Ghost. Ghost. Like with Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore, Whoopi Goldberg. I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming at it, all. It is the most romantic scene of modern television of all time, but with the clay behind. It is a a very adult scene that where they where they show absolutely no nudity or no like anything else that would, would that would warrant like an R rating or anything else like that. But everybody understands what is going on, right? I, I you're not wrong, but I, I just would not have. <laughs> I would not have. Okay, <laughs> what, hey, I'm a guy who surprises <laughs> just like Valdez Scantling if he had caught that one because he was a couple steps backwards. But yes, Ghost, uh, best overall movie period. If we're talking like comedies and stuff like this, I am I am a product of my generation. I love Superbad. What can I say? But those are the movies are 25 years apart. This is why I'm so confused. <laughs> like, it's fair. You're, it's you're fair. drawing movies from the 80s. And you're like, oh, yeah, this one came out 2000. It was great. Uh, 1991, please. Oh, okay. It felt, it felt very ghost. 80s. It felt very <laughs> 80s. I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, as soon as I said that, uh, ghost movie. Three, three-hour reception. Kind of a short pass there. Ah. It was done with authority. 90, not 91. My bad. I'm out here claiming this is my favorite movie of all time. I don't even know when it came out. Hey, I know a line from Men in Black. We're even Stevens. That's fine. <laughs> I knew a line from Men in Black. <laughs> the Checo takes a nice rock reception all the way up. That's still going to be uh, that's gonna be Patty Mahomes here for No Mercy Lambo, improving to dead even. Three and three on passes accomplished and passes attempted. And that's going to be Chanel. Chanel getting involved. Uh, for the first time, really, on either of these, and in huge effect, a nine-yard sack here against New Mercy. I'm not sure what Pat Mahomes was doing. I kind of ran up oh, to him and God. said, hey, do me a favor. Don't sack me. And Well, well, it didn't sack him. That's another <laughs> one, though, and the way that this popped up and kind of relied on the ball just hitting the ground, right? On nobody from Luke Plays getting involved with that one. He even saw somebody jump up and put their hands like way up in the air. You just had to put them down by your knees. Interception, though. Can't say that here, though, is this is pretty evenly dispersed, and they had a step. They had two steps on Travis Kelsey. I wouldn't be surprised. You cannot say that frequently. Yeah, passes like that are always bold. We'll take a look at this one another time. Passes like this is uh, always bold, but knowing how much coverage has been tight, I would not have done a play like that. Thanks so much for the replay there in the booth. And it's kind of risky. Easy. Oh, there you go. Watch this happen. As soon as they came out, they're going to want that one back. 21 coming down with a big end as Luke plays across the winner of game number one who came through finishing quarter one from behind. Seven point differential right there. Let's take a look at this pickoff again. You can watch this forecasted like tomorrow's weather. Yeah, you see the coverage on defense. I was saying the play before was kind of risky, and that's exactly the reason why your patterns are becoming predictable. There are bodies there. It was only a matter of time. Ooh, that's a wide open situation for Rice. Gets the defender involved. That's going to be a second one Whoa. there. A great job kind of running in tandem there, uh, Navanta. What's up? Uh, do you not see the slap at the back of the helmet? Yo, ref, <laughs> what's going on over there? <laughs> it's a madhouse. Nope. They're only calling random pass interference calls that we didn't even see on the side. They're not <laughs> calling stuff like that. <laughs> Save you the game, I guess. Sure. I'm out called yet again. Luke plays, doesn't get up here and does not get the seven. This is a player that's shown themselves completely confident with still taking the three points and pushing this one to a little bit of time left in the second and timeout usage. 
becoming the name of the game. Now, big bomb over there. The only bad thing about this is that this is a touchdown with lots of time left. Two and a half minutes, in fact, for No Mercy Lambo to come back. Usually we've seen these players kind of utilize as much green, as much yardage ahead of them to try and burn this time off to Avanta. This might be something that comes back and bites them. It, it, you're absolutely right, and it might as well or may as well do that. But the opposite fact is that Luke plays, has the one game in hand. I think the strategy here is to score early and often to force a forfeit, which is a psychological strategy outside of the game of the self of Madden, but it has worked before in the past, especially in this tournament. I mean, lives really on the line here for No Mercy Lambo. Of course, this is second game of two. Kelsey almost gets up there. This is the, every yard feels important for No Mercy Lambo right now. Yeah, Ali, you can see that first attempt was trying to go for the strip rather than a tackle. Again, you can see the three more yards, but Kelsey is an uh, absolute beast. It shows it time and time again. There you go. The second one is the two minute warning does come in. We'll see how No Mercy Lambo is able to. Get this two-minute offense going uh, and just humming and thrumming along, or if this will be another dead-in-the-water play. You see both sides of that on the run. Caught. What? Patrick Mahomes is, like, on the ground throwing with his right foot? How did that even come out? Well, if he didn't rip his shoulder before, <laughs> or elbow before, <laughs> it wouldn't happen now. Steps back, long ball, gets under it, and inside, No Mercy Lambo comes back, leaving about a minute and a half on this clock. Well, when it comes to look at this pass one more time, it was going a long time, hands up, down. And that's what you're talking about, being yourself locked in, despite the fact you have a deficit. Just like that, No Mercy Lambo's in the game. Well, that's uh, going to be a fantastic answer here. This is exactly the score deficit that we saw exiting the first quarter. Now, less than two minutes in the second. And, of course, this was advantage No Mercy Lambeau last time. It's a lot less touchdowns on the board right now. Why does this feel like they could even come forth and get, like, a couple bombs and spend all of, like, 20, 30 seconds doing this, and then No Mercy gets the ball back? Yeah, yeah. Uh, talk about the feeling of of making the objective clock feel more subjective. I think both of these players have that like time bending ability, and it's kind of cool to see how it's executed. Time bending ability is probably utilized in things better for the environment, for the planet than Madden. But see how this goes and if that continues to give them advantage. Pacheco weaves his way around a couple right there. Time bending abilities. What's the best way you utilize yours? Uh, well, because I always got to be two places at once. If I can't teleport, mm. I definitely stop time to get there and say, hey, I made it. I would never be late again. That that yep. is that seems like an even bigger feat than the ability to stop time. Yeah, but that's even actually a more like selfish one besides playing that. <laughs> I want to make sure <laughs> I'm not late to places. <laughs> oh, Pacheco gets this busted wide open. Williams goes for it and tries to hit this ball out along the way. And given that they kind of slowed themselves down for the offensive strip play, did not get to Luke plays the cross and did not stop this one down. Perhaps at the end of the day, this is a better idea because there is no real difference between two minutes and I believe those 21 seconds that Mercy Lambeau got this ball back and a minute and 12, given that they do have a timeout. To be honest with you, that's going to be an answer. We're going to only find out the end of this one. But Luke Play is being able to respond in kind to go back to the two-score advantage. It says a lot about what they have planned here in the back half of this game. Mercy Lambeau playing from behind. Pressure creates diamonds. We'll see if they come out with something that shines here at the end of this because a two-score deficit going into the second half where both of these players have shown that they are great at maintaining clock, eating it up when they need to, and utilizing every second when they don't. Tony gets the toes inside first down again, and a clock stopped. Yeah, I'm not liking that one. Again, going back to those pressure passes. He got caught now, but... The way it's been going, they may uh, end up be causing problems later on. Mm, this one a little bit in front of Pacheco, but a missed catch is going to stop this clock yet again. And Mercy Lambo getting a few seconds to kind of determine what exactly it is that he wants to do. 
Not sure why that was rushed. Maybe a bit too heavy on the power situation. But the had time if you're Mahomes and time to catch it. Uh, the connection or misconnection is going to be a head scratcher. Speaking of, Valdez Scanling doesn't know the meaning of misconnections. Been pretty perfect on both sides of this. Luke plays and no mercy. Valdez Scanling being the defining factor thus so far. Kind of a similar situation that we saw in the Super Bowl as well. Yeah, I guess we get to learn about your opponent. Much like I learned about Tugboat's uh, hot dog preferences, favorite movie, and where he would have his first football franchise. But <laughs> as this series goes on, yeah, you really can't rely on trick plays as much. So it comes down to really outskilling your opponent. Skill positions right now, just getting shut down. There's no real answer. Pacheco across the middle after Edwards kind of gave this one up. We see uh, no mercy, or excuse me, we see Luke plays mostly utilizing Edwards across the middle. And so this is actually such a smart play, right? So Edwards pulls, he pulls Edwards off of a little bit, just to give Pacheco that one. But given this is not just a first down, but a throw inside the middle, that keeps this clock running until no mercy loses the last time out. Basically they're saying like, hey, I'll give you, a nine yards out with no first down capabilities. Did Miko? Okay, uh, Miko Hartman Jr. catches this somehow. I thought it was an interception, but I guess I was uh, mistaken. But yeah, yeah, caught right for the goal. So again, folks, now with a uh, third and goal, this is either an incomplete pass in the first four or five seconds, or it's a uh, gonna be a single rush play right up the middle. There makes it or doesn't because there is no timeouts left for no mercy. Unfortunately, the timeout game has really uh, been overused on the No Mercy Lambo side, but definitely needed to make sure they still have a chance to score. I, think, I do feel like all three of those timeouts utilized to even get them to the position right now, right? I mean, absolutely. I mean, you want to be able to be as close as you can when they have that break time. But uh, I wonder if that kind of management is going to show its head in the fourth. Well, I wonder. Yes, I wonder. Not going to happen. Clock running, and you will not get another seven. No mercy, Lambo. To the second quarter we go. 21 for the side of Luke Blaze Lacrosse. Seven. No mercy, Lambo. Wow. Uh, well, it looks like pretty much a half of a game is ahead of Luke Plays. And that next round, that ticket to Detroit. Let's see if they know how the focus. And no mercy, Lambo, you got to do something now and quick. Because that lower bracket, it's great. But Juice Tay is on a tear down there. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. So once again, folks, if Luke plays lacrosse, does go down and face them, this will be the first time that they go forth and play. But Juice Tay, as you'll remember, was dropped down here by Luke. Did I say that backwards? No Mercy Lambo loses and drops down. That'll be a fresh match. Last time Luke plays lacrosse and Juice Tay did battle on the virtual Madden field. Uh, this was a 2-0 win against Juice Tay. Yep. And I kind of lit the fire behind them to have that redemption arc. So that'd be a great story. Here's another great story oh, of Aldez Galen heading on there with no one around. And there is Pater, baby. Marquise Valdez Scantling showing up once again here for Luke plays lacrosse. Blown coverage after it was mandated short. We have the uh we we, we I mean, I have the offensive playbook, of course, for Luke plays lacrosse, but this is a little bit of on-the-line alteration. Perfectly timed kick. We'll put this in the corner and just give a little bit of wiggle room. No, not actually not. It's going to be right on the end zone. Michael Hardman Jr. decides no way. Yeah, it's actually a good play here. There are much of my children. Why not? Time to reset. Yeah, time to reset. If you're no mercy, are you coming out trying to just completely change up the game plan? Because I feel like that's really what's necessary. Yeah, I mean, I would say so, too. Um, we're seeing two different kinds of, of plays, and that is uh, the long bomb, bombs on the wings where you're that run around and then do a, a medium pass right in front of you. And that's the only thing that's been working for them. If Luke plays, finds a way to cut those off, uh, that, that almost like a tourniquet situation, it's pretty much curtains for them. Valdez Scantling, Valdez Scantling, and a player called Valdez Scantling is going to be the offensive powerhouse on this drive so far. Both of those Going up, four receptions, half of them happen on this one in 75 of those yards. Well, we say time is of the essence. Well, time can be a burden if you're no mercy Lambo. I uh, haven't seen much creativity in plays in about a half of a quarter. I do think what's working is, is diminishing, and a lot of things are not working now. So <sighs> hit that mercy button. 
Whoa, Kelsey with a diving play right there is 27 and 38. Gotta be happy that this ain't R I R L. That would have been like meeting in the middle like a like an action movie, right? And like yeah. conking their heads like doom, and then both falling like away from Kelsey, not even touching him while he's on the ground. Straight Cirque du Soleil action. I love it. <laughs> Again, guys, they have a new show. I think it's called Ka K A. Yeah, that's been around for about 10, 15 years, man. Ka has? Yeah, M MGM. Oh. Grand. Well, I, I, sorry, I believe it's like a new show that they are like, like it's been like a pretty similar show they've had for years. They've just changed up like like the show itself, like what they oh, actually do. Oh, new, like new acts, yeah, yeah, I yes, gotcha. a, a new act. Sorry, that that's that's how I should uh, uh, that, that's uh, how I should phrase that one. Okay, I mean, it, it's been you know, it's one of those like Blue Man Group, right? Awesome stuff to see once, but they don't really change it up that much, you know. Fair enough. Uh, my favorite one's the original Cirque du Soleil, uh, Miss Dare. Over there mm. at Treasure Island. Uh, I think Kyle was the only one I walked out of, if I could be honest with you. <laughs> really? Walked yeah. out of it? Mm-hmm. Did not like it. Gotcha. I've not seen mm -hmm. it myself, but hey, I'm not a, uh, a fantastic. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I look like I got caught, I got propped up, and then slammed down at the same time, but I guess it counts as a reception. Spinning like a top right there. Pacheco is going to have to ask NASA for a lift off like that next time. <laughs> In international airspace almost. But Mahomes rolling out to the outside. No mercy. Looking for a lot. Broken up right there. Fourth and five coming in. This feels like a do or die type play. It is. And I'm not full, just talking about like, like five yards either. Not just a first down. Full momentum bar filled for Luke plays. Uh, that play was critical for them to make sure they didn't score. And in score they did. Ooh, barely gets this one out of turnover on downs here. And Luke plays across. Can they get in? Fantastic field position. Well, sorry, not field position, but again, you get a turnover on downs and throw an opportunity to do stuff. Oh, will that be the critical uh, driver to talk about? I mean, five yards to glory could have been done, especially the way these yards have been being racked up. This could have happened there. I'm just looking for end zone every single time there for No Mercy Lambo. You're behind. I'm not against it here, but now a lot of wiggle room again. Purchase. Luke plays lacrosse, has got enough yardage now to kind of frill their feathers and. Really, this should be after that, after like the bigger pass to kind of give yourself a little bit of wiggle room. This should just be handoffs, right? Like, yeah, like every single one of these is 35 seconds or so burned off a clock. You shouldn't do anything else except that. I'm sorry. You said feathers. And I was like, is that true? Like, are they like actual sentient birds playing the tournament? That's pretty red. <sighs> well, we'll find out in uh, about a month or so when we get to, <laughs> when we get to Detroit, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, gets this one kind of off balance, but Rice is going to take it down. That's juke number one, juke number two, less effective than the first. Uh, is this going to be? Yes, this is going to be yeah. a concession there for uh, No Mercy. Lambo gets the dub. Uh, sorry, for No Mercy Lambo, Luke plays against the dub. Two straight sets. That second game was nomination. I was saying before yes. there, Tug Boat, about having the game in hand and how you can really apply all the pressure. It's exactly what happened. Scoring early and often, got the win. So we bring it all the way back on here. We are getting confirmed from our go-to production staff, Friggy, Aster, Rack, everybody over there. Really, really, really appreciate that one. But uh, good news for No Mercy Lambo, of course, is they're going to have another opportunity against Juice Tay here in the lower bracket. Guys, we are coming into our last... Like, it feels weird to say, right, Novanta? We've been doing this for like a month and a half or something like this, all coming down to determine your guys' two players that will be facing off at the NFL Draft April 24th through the 28th. We are in our last match. We're coming up here in just a second. It'll be Juice Tay. It'll be Lambo or No Mercy Lambo, excuse me. After No Mercy Lambo, unfortunately, not really able to find anything in that second game right there, guys. Avant, anything else for the good people before we go to a short break in this well, last this match setup? This is why we love Madden so much, and we love what it means to these organizations and colleges because of competition quite like this. And thank you so much for watching it over the past couple of weeks. We got one more year for today, and it's going to be a banger matchup. Stick around after this.
and welcome back to the Rally Cry Collegiate Series featuring Madden presented, of course, by the good folks over there at the Army National Guard. Folks, it has been a long time coming all the way down here. Was it nine weeks, Novanta? It feels that way, sure. So many different times, so many different tournaments, so many different weeks together. It's almost like we became family, Tugboat. Absolutely. I'd accept that. I'd accept that. Brothers of the Booth over here to bring you guys a lot of Madden action, all of which is going to come down at the NFL Draft in Detroit, Michigan. This is April 24th through 28th. These two players are going to be fighting for a chance right there. Of course, off the back of the previous play, Luke plays across, will be going. We have one of our finalists. Luke plays lacrosse will also be going with a one game advantage in that series that again going to be played in the lights and sounds Detroit, Michigan, NFL draft, next generation of NFL talent. What was it that you said? The, um, Motor City? The, no, no, no. About the NFL draft in front of the luminaries and dignitaries of the national luminaries and dignitaries. Love it. Love it. An apt description. And that description, yeah. obviously, there's a lot coming up between us and the NFL draft. But oh my goodness, do mine eyes deceive me? Not one, but two Jets players. Oh yeah, because we love mirror matches, not getting them confused. Juice <laughs> uh, here, the biggest Jets run ever. As long as no Mercy Lambo with a team change. I actually like this one because I think if you're thinking for no Mercy Lambo, you've seen Juice Tate beat Chief Squad before. Yeah, come up with something kind of special, and Jets are a solid team all together. Yeah, the, the the Jets defense just coming and up and just really stifling any kind of Kansas City offense across how many different competitors now. It's really seemed like if Juice Tay saw that they're gonna be playing against the Chiefs, it was the first game, whichever. It was the second game that they would immediately go with the Jets, and it was come from behind victories right there. Taking a look though, I mean. Just on the day here, the way that No Mercy Lambo is playing a little bit listless there in the second half of the second game there with Luke plays across. This was just indicative of me of a little bit of a lost player. A little fortunate. They have a little bit of a break. They have time to figure out exactly what it is they did wrong coming in for our last matchup. Essentially like a thousand dollar game, right? Because because second place at worst gonna be taking home fifteen hundred dollars. Third place gonna be going home with five hundred. Wow, that that's the worst. Well, well, okay then. But but you said it right. I mean, Lambo definitely up until this time, this last series had lost a series, and so there are no slouch. But I think what made uh, Lacrosse so interesting was that they were able to throw the whole plan out and do something in the moment, something that Juicy arguably is better at. So this might be a, actually a bigger challenge for Lambo, even though they slide down into the lower bracket. See how this one goes. Baltimore Ravens is going to be the selection of the neutral territory that these two teams would be deciding on. It was New Orleans for a while. Now it's mostly going to be there out of Maryland. Well, another stadium I haven't been to, Juice Day with a fair catch. I would love to see, after I finish my uh, Major League Baseball stadium tour, I will be down to do the NFL thing. I see it be a little bit longer because there's less inventory, but we got to go see all it's 32 fair. stadiums. I'm assuming you've been to you've been to plenty of the uh, you've been to plenty of the NFL stadiums so far, right? Uh, I've been to SoFi, uh, I've been to uh, Allegiant, and I've been to the Coliseum when the Rams were here while they were building SoFi. So three, three. Still got one up on me. Hmm. Does the Coliseum count though? Let's be real. You know, they were playing football when you went there, right? True. True. There you go. Inside stadiums, though, we're not going to start that argument, even though football should be played outside. Really? First rush here for Priest. Yeah, I mean, absolutely, right? I mean, you mean like in, in like backyards? Domes are, or domes like are cool and all. No, domes are oh, cool God. and all, but generally, like, I, I feel like a dome is a place that I should go watch a concert in. Ah, uh, fair enough. I give you that. Um, also, I am uh, worse when it comes to winter winds. That's why I live in LA now. So I'm okay mm. with stadiums. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, is, what are you talking about? It's LA. It's beautiful. Everybody moves there because the weather's just nice all the time. Yeah, you got the and, beach right there and the mountains right there, right? And I'm from Brooklyn. That's why I moved because <laughs> of the winter. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Hey, hey, truly a beautiful place. Truly a beautiful place. And now, hey, two NFL teams, right? What more could you want? Uh, apparently that's way too many for us. <laughs> we can only support half at a time, but <laughs> yeah, apparently that's the case. Wilson, Garrett, gonna be connecting on that one. This Jets on Jets matchup. Garrett Wilson's gonna be very happy about that one. First for thirteen as Gudry just kind of escorted him 
to the outside. Buck not stopped there, though, so. Rogers here for Juice Tay. Surveying fields. Brees Hall be the first. Nice blocking there. Going to beat the corner all the way out here. Tries to get inside. Only gets up to about the five. Well, I, we, we saw about Juice Tay's run with the Jets. And that's kind of been the story here. And we understand, uh, look at this run. A second uh, look at this one. Being able to draw the defense out and get some extra yardage. But I guess the question I have is changing a team so late, is that really smart? It worked for Juice Tay. Will it work for No Mercy Land was the question I have. The question is going to be answered here. Great first stop on the goal line, though. Sure, you're getting that in spades. I'm sure, I got a feeling we're going to see a lot more of that, and it, the battle will be on the more accurate passing when it's all said and done. Audibles, but audibles, but no. That's going to be a barely popped out. Now, guys, if you'll remember, this is easy for... You know, quarterbacks named Patrick Mahomes, quarterbacks named Josh Allen to do. Not so much for quarterbacks named Aaron Rodgers pushing 38. Oh, yeah. Wow. Old man Rodgers. Well, let's get Zach Wilson out there. <laughs> the A, the young man. Don't say that too loud. The entirety of New York will come for you. The yeah. entirety of New York doesn't claim the Giants, at least. I will say this. When, when Rodgers was signed to New York, it was kind of like, yeah, we're so excited. I mean... I mean, granted, Mark Sanchez never had a sight man. But the last time the city got really excited <laughs> is when they signed Brett Favre. And it was like, oh, man, we're going to win all the championships. And it hasn't yep. happened yet. I don't think it will happen for a while. Yeah, I uh, got to feel. Oh, the interception in the end zone. Perfectly timed. Going to be able to bring this one out to the 20. No mercy, Lambo Putting a fantastic foot forward. Let's take a look at this one again. I'm talking about Brett Favre thinking it's going to be a touchdown. Take a look at this one, but it says other plants on the backside of that right arm, and we're going the other way. And that's what you're talking about. You really can't count No Mercy Lambo out. Lost two games on the stream today. Doesn't mean they're a slouch. You got to agree. Within those games as well, I mean, there's comeback plays, right? I mean, guys, need I remind, this is a three-score difference that first game there. 38-35 between No Mercy Lambo and Luke plays lacrosse, a 38-35 th victory, excuse me, was taken off the back of a last-second, pretty much last-second field goal there is, as well. It's going to be a screen to the outside. Garrett Wilson gets away from one and a little bit of extra yardage on the other side. The slide floor definitely got them two or three more yards. Smart play to do that in the moment. Oh, no. <laughs> this is flattened right there, right off the screen. And I, for a second there, I felt like it was going to be a, a link of a couple of those runs that push the chains, but you can't push the chains against a wall like that. You cannot. Ooh, another unstoppable force right here. Well, let's talk about this one. So it's definitely the end of the first, more or less, give or take a play. No score. Uh, Juice Tay has been waiting patiently. I got to mention the idea of icing, what that means about having to wait for your opponent to do that. But as I say that, the defense was going to be a little bit sharper. That's what I'm saying. Has Juice Tay lost a step having so much time waiting to see who his opponent's going to be? I felt like three games ago, Juice Tay would have had that down pretty quickly. Yeah, like, I'm always up and down. It's the same thing as, like, the argument about, like, minor differentials and ping, right? Like, this is almost like a philosophical question. Do you feel like you put everything into the competition beforehand and just mentally you need a reset? Like, you just need to go lay in a bed for 10 minutes, not sleep or anything else. And the, yeah. You know, just, just, just zone out, right? Get back to, like, a mental neutral. You know what I'm saying? Like, after all this pressure, after all this craziness, do you go back to that? Or do you stay locked in? And probably run a couple like not not even just like social games as well. You're gonna be running ranked in between these matches, right? Like if you're gonna do it. So I'm glad you asked that question. I think it's a little bit of both. And the best way to uh, have an analogy of that, I just get stopped here right outside the 15. It seems uh, it, it's kind of like a, a gym thing, you know. Between sets, you're okay to have a bit of rest. 30 seconds here, one yep. minute there, where you must yep. recover. But if I did a set of bicep curls and I went home and took a three-hour nap. They went back to the gym. Yeah, I'm doing more progress than nothing, but at the same time, not getting the pump I need. Oh, okay, I get what you're saying. Brees Hall, I, like he needs that touchdown. Like he needs his next breath. Doesn't quite get up there. Still going to be holding it. Another couple, play, another one play at least, I should say. Uh, I have to 
agree with you though. So uh, essentially, I think we're in agreement that like it's just a matter of time, right? Right. Time is the uh, the enemy here mm. uh, for Juice Tay. But maybe if they win in straight sets, they're probably irrelevant. Yeah. But... I, I get that. No. So, so it's just kind of a difference between like you know. So I said ten minutes. You said three hours. Uh, I think 45 minutes is a really interesting middle ground between those two, right? If I'm for 45 minutes, I mean, A, you could do both. You could literally right. just kind of like mentally reset, get back to it, 10 minutes, just by yourself, not on your phone, right? right. Very, very important. Just a little, little bit of zone out time, right? Uh, and then you could go forth and play, I mean, what, two, probably two ranked games in that remaining 40 minutes or so as it is New Mercy Lambeau, not the first touchdown of this game. Yeah, every person's different, but I'll say for me, especially uh, in pro football games with strategies and playbooks, if I'm if there's 45 minutes I go by and I'm, I'm doing anything football related, mm -hmm. it's pretty much close shop for the day. Yeah, I, I remember back when I used to play for the Jets, we'd have uh, double headers in the game and uh, earn a day. And the first <laughs> game, I'd, I'd always go in hard and heavy. And uh, in between, it was always up and down as far as how I spend my time. But hey, that's just me, you know? Oh, oh yeah, I played for the Jets. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> what was your position? And we're first and ten here, Aaron Rodgers for Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have follow-up questions at all. <laughs> no follow-up questions. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I'm just going to move forward and pretend like what you said wasn't important. <laughs> <laughs> all that talk about taking that loss, he got no mercy line with the seven-point uh, advantage being the first one to score. I mean, that's always a good thing for momentum's sake. Yeah, yeah. Ju Juice Tail is also kind of a comeback king. I'm not going to lie. Like, I don't want to say it too negatively, but it just kind of seems like when Juice Tay goes up early, kind of rests on the laurels a little bit. This is just a kind of a player that needs the pressure. This is the kind of person that, like, downtime is only... I'm, I'm completely taking, like, huge, wide assumptions about Juice Tay right now. I'm just doing it to kind of prove my point here, okay? But there's, there's people in this world that, like, you know, downtime's good, but down, too much downtime is the worst. That, like, idleness is the devil's play thing kind of thing. And I feel like that's where Juice Tay lives. Absolutely right. If you want to send your hate mail over to Tugboat, do so on X. <laughs> now. FBI underscore Tugboat, people. It wouldn't be the first time. Roll it out to the right side. Bomb out. And that's Gibson, who gets no pressure whatsoever on the catch. Once it comes in, though, drill down to the green. Let's take a Let's look see. at this one again, Novanta. Yeah, it was. Had that been just a little bit more distance, that would have been a swatted down affair, but it was quick enough to get the catch. Speaking of quick, Reese Hall dashes out to about the 36. A little bit of a game there, not so much uh, that you would like to kind of against the playbook uh, we're used to at Juice Tay, but definitely moving yourself forward to do a lot more. And we are, are, are and I, I will be remiss if I don't mention that Juice Tay is really good at getting those touchdowns and still using field goals to their advantage. So a lot of people don't do that. Juice Tay does. Juice Tay going to do it. Juice Tay right at the middle. Hall, Breeze, that is, takes this one. It's a worthwhile distinction because there is a Hall on the defense as well. I believe it's number 31, if I remember right. Mm, that was familiar. Mm. No defensive Hall on this one. Still going to be a huge play against Breeze Hall, though. Third and nine here for the Juice Tay squad. No scoring in the first half. The, the, this is this is foreign. This is alien to me. This might as well be from Mars. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, having them being seven points apart is definitely something I saw coming. But you say not scoring as of yet is something interesting. Oh my, what? And not going to score shots like that. Fourth and nineteen, getting just, trucked. And just watch his number forty-seven just flow all the way in at him. This is going to be a field goal. So th this is basically a chip in shot for a leg like Greg Zerlines, but still a seven to three game. Given that we've seen what we saw 35 points in the last game, okay, or 35 points in the last ma first game of the last matchup, all right? Between No Mercy, Lambeau, and Luke plays lacrosse. Less than a third of that being represented right now has not made it, of course, represented. So 35 in the first quarter as well. We're going to see 10 across a half. Wow, that's a 7-3 scoreline at halftime. It's something I would not have predicted. It's a good thing we didn't ask for number predictions because I thought it would have been like 45-41 to 41 by now. <laughs> uh, but a close game is definitely worthy of what's on the line and definitely the skill level of these two players. Yeah, I, I would have guaranteed a score difference. Juice Tay back to his juice ways on this juice day. Ooh, that's a big hit. 
Okay, not you're still gonna keep this one in. Gonna find great field position for no mercy Lambo on the 46. Other 46, I should say. I'm with you. When that camera spun around, I was like, that looks like it might be dropped for a fumble, and it wasn't. Kind of risky. Kind of worked out then for them. Such clutch times. You got to love it, right? Whenever you see this, it's pretty much like, oh, something just happened. Something big just happened. Flipping all the way around, even if it's on takeoffs and whatnot, or punts. Onside field attempts, I should say. Yeah, quite accurately, yeah. I'm with it. Special teams, special teams. Second and 10. Back in the gun. He's all not too, too far away, but going out for receiving duties now. Rogers rolling right. Plenty of options. Throws this away to the outside directly ahead of him. I could have made that throw. Well, that just puckers my lips. <laughs> There's an opportunity to go yourself forward, to get some scramble yards. You can even do a pass that you pet your feet. Nothing happened. Neither worked. And what? It again. Well, that's Brees work. Hall with the mental connection to Aaron Rodgers, it seems. Uh, well, I guess I said well, I wanted chaos. We're getting it here in the third. <laughs> Be one with chaos. Flow like water. <laughs> Brees Hall. It stopped like a river dam. If he's water right there up the middle, <laughs> one yard. T. Adams getting this player down here. Uh, establishing rush game is proven way harder than any of these two players probably anticipated coming into this matchup would be. Uh, you're, that's an understatement if ever was one. But surprises are always part of the package. Oof. Conklin getting involved. Big name number 83 right here. Long flowing black locks. You see that? Yeah, Conklin uh, was actually my choice when I was a QB for the Jets in the game, Madden. I'm not making any <laughs> lies. So. <laughs> Uh, what do you mean? I saw you in the saw you in the locker room there, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> when I got drafted, my avatar looked so upset. I was like, "Yep, that's accurate." <laughs> uh, my avatar looked exactly like what it'd be in real life. When I once I realized that I might actually take a hit from one of these guys IRL, that face of pure terror, Is it like like a face you'd see on a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> do I get like armor? Do I get like like <laughs> chain? Mail? What extra can I get, or can I just be a kicker where it's a penalty to even touch my skin while I'm while I'm on the field? Can, can I get one of those, perhaps? <laughs> Playing the game till I'm 42. Oh, long snapper tugboat, love it. Oh, well, I, th I think I can make it as long snapper too. Uh, again, just no trick plays. <laughs> I, I'd be like the most predictable long snapper ever. Like they come out and be like calling stuff, and be like, "Hey guys, nope," and just like waving my hands and walk on the sidelines. Like, oh well, there's not going to be a fake attempt today. Like, you gotta go easy on me. I'm a little brittle. <laughs> just been up for you know to get these East Coast start times, guys. I've been up for like 35 minutes. Can we please? Can we just turn the lights down in here a little bit. Like, come on. Like... Right. Rough, rough night. <laughs> Oh, <clears throat> two minutes. Two minutes left here in the third quarter. A touchdownless juice taste squad facing against the No Mercy Lambo team. Now that's going to be one of the best rushes for Brees Hall yet. About a seven yard rush and dash right up the middle here. Five yards out. I'm thinking a short hook on the left side, given if we're playing, yeah, if we're playing zone defense for Reed Jr. Now and Motion, Garrett Wilson right up to it, almost tackled inside, is going to be tackled inside. Ball has broken the planes. Well, that tackle was kind of in slow motion, like, where is that ball going to land? Doesn't matter, touchdown, the Mercy Lambo gets more daylight. Yes, they do. 14 on the board right now, nine plays for 51 of those yards. Their juice tag gives up some fantastic field position, but again, Really trying to time the possessions at that point, Juice Tay was. I do kind of feel like this was like a timing issue that came a little bit too soon, right? Like this, this is like a now type situation, right? If you're Juice Tay. Yeah, I would say so. I think the plan of that early inception wasn't planned. And now it comes out to how they're going to uh, respond to that. The question is, though, well, the statement is, though, I felt like the old Juice Tay we were used to would have responded pretty much in kind to the next drive. It's not a third. Uh, you got something on the board, but they need a lot more. And a whole, whole lot more. 11 points scoring. 11 point differential, excuse me. Of course, the three pointer earlier, the field goal purchased them a situation. There's still only two possessions. Gibson Ooh. barely gets this out. That's a fumble at the worst time possible. Udre is going to be coming forth with a fumble force and recover a couple of tackles as well. 
fantastic number 40 naked things sing for no mercy lambo yeah task fell successfully i thought it was going to be interception <laughs> was and got caught and the fumble was forced and get the possession back it's all established in this one yet again no mercy lambo you say both I'd have to repeat it. Brees Hall has just had a rough time on the ground for both of these teams, but no mercy Lambo. The the difference between four or five yards and like two is just massive right now, really showing up. Oh yeah, That's six seven yeah. Kind of a statement run here from no mercy Lambo. Kind of the aggression you you wish you saw in the last series. I felt like no mercy was a bit passive, but now it's coming back in space with the fumble recovery. Okay, okay. So into the quarter right here. Looking at these, at this box score, you got to be a little bit surprised, right? Three zeros across both teams in the first. Zero here for Juice Tay in the third. Yeah, I mean the the distance between two teams is much to be expected. It's about as far as this. Um, again, I said that in the first quarter. I thought by now there's been a lot more on the board, but I guess what I want to say is like the kind of fumble recovering because fumbles themselves have been pretty rare uh, coming at a critical time there for Tuesday. So uh, it's it's on brand, but still peculiar to see. Mm -mm. I hear you. I hear you. Fourth reception, 40 yards, more standard human numbers there for Garrett Wilson. Nine on 13 for Rodgers. Again, more standard stuff. Indicative of a very evenly matched game. Lazard hangs out for just a couple of seconds because right now, Tuesday's Largest opponent is no longer named Murno Mercy Lambo. It is named Time. Yes, it is. That late score in the third and that little shutter step on the line says, I dare you to forfeit. Now, <laughs> you're on the ropes there, Juice Tay. You have a lot of time, but not all the time in the world. What do you have at receives this time? Mercy Lambo scored in seven in each of these periods so far. Fourth, of course, not done. Takes this one. Xavier Gibson going to try and show us what they can do. Fortunately, only going to be able to get out to the 19. Mm, it was a good run attempt. Probably much should have went up the right rail. Didn't do that. But hey, I love the attempt. Rejoice. Absolutely. Novans is the world rejoice. And, and again, especially a Madden man, like how many long balls are there where the player is like completely like wide, wide open? And that six yards really doesn't matter anyway. Throwing off the back mm. and that's going to happen when you throw across the body. And try to make something beautiful happen. That's a defensive pick six here for No Mercy Lambo. Yeah, that was unfortunate. So what exactly happened there was you had a little bit of that chip on the shoulder to stink of No Mercy Lambo, coupled with that icing, that little time off from Juice Tay. But when it came down to the game, it was forcing Juice Tay to make those plays that were came out of desperation, those emotional plays, and those were easy pickings every day of the week. Unfortunate there for Juice Tay, but No Mercy Lambo is one win away of going to Detroit. It's a very, very good point. Juice Tay now two wins away from going there. Again, the least Juice Tay going to be taking $500, put in the pocket for playing some Madden here on the past uh, eight weeks, nine weeks or so. Getting right back on into this one just a little bit after this was a one-sided affair in every way, shape, and form. Three offensive touchdowns sparse perfectly across the second, third, and fourth quarters. Follow that up with a pick six in the fourth right there to ice this game out and really make a statement against Juice Tay. The statement is as follows. You have got to go forth and make me pay when I'm on defense. I got to be honest with you for Juice Tay. Uh, having a game and losing at 28-3 is the most Jets thing ever. But what do you do now? You have that one game loss, one more, and that's it. Well, you get some prize money. That's great. We all want to know the big prize. That's hopping on that plane. That's going to Detroit. That's playing in front of people who are very, very important. So it comes down to this. I understand the aggression. I understand the chaos works for you. I'm saying go in the back of the playbook. You know what I mean. Maybe you don't have to go to the shotgun all the time. I know that pretty much limits your options. I think mm -hmm. it's full on kitchen sink time. Ooh, speaking of, we got a switch of teams here. No Mercy Lambo going back to the comfort pick. But folks, need I remind you, you stay as Jets are the, the, the absolute lifeblood of the or bane excuse me of the kansas city chiefs this is a, a jets team that is he has used multiple multiple times to go forth and shut down anybody coming out of kansas city yeah i understand it's actually a smart move if you're no mercy lambo right you know your opponent's watching you play the kansas city chief and you lost with them you're probably taking notes you do the mirror match you force them to go and have that plan out the window now with the one game advantage you go back to the team you're used to and you should in theory have a lot more runway to produce let's see if it works out for them
We're getting confirmed here. Yeah, so No Mercy Lambo is the opponent. We're watching Juice Tay's perspective right now. I do believe there's been a switch here. Yes, yeah, so we're looking at Juice Tay's, and he's flipping through the offensive, yeah, the offensive playbook of the Kansas City Chiefs. I believe these names are flipped, folks. So, okay, so you think Juice Tay is Kansas City? Correct. No, well, then... yes, Juice Tay is Kansas City, yes. Okay, well, then forget what I said. <laughs> Getting that figured out for you, folks. Mahomes steps back. The gun now getting beaten down right there. Adams yet again making his name known. Yeah, it's one of those situations. That is the case. Yes, we are confirmed. Juice Tay is Kansas City done. Take out what I said about the Mercy Lambo and the Rope Dope. It's definitely Team Copium. You're down. You understand one loss gets you out of the tournament. Uh, uh, this round might as well go to a team you've used before. Yeah, and Juice Tay is definitely thinking with the switch. Like, it's so up in the air because Juice Tay is, he really is just like Flex God. He can play anybody, he can perform under pressure, and the comeback capability is real. I believe what they're thinking here is we want an overpowered offense to just really go forth and make it so that No Mercy Lambo's Jets defense can't do anything. There's a high powered offense that's done before. IRL, let's see if they can do it in Madden again. I've done this before in other games too, uh, WWE 2K, you got the, or, or even uh, Injustice, or even in Rocket League, you have that one main that you love, and even nope. though you have a stream of wins you like, when you realize you're back against the wall, you go back to what you know is their bread and butter. Sometimes, most times it works. The last thing you want to do is have that defeat where you're wearing a number one. It makes you feel some kind of way. I hear you. I hear you. There's going to be a turnover on downs here and earlier for Juice Tay. Perhaps those uh, onside kick returns is going to be showing their faces again at the beginning of the second half here. Of course, we're only about a minute and a half burned into this one as No Mercy Lambo takes the offensive side of the field for the first time of this matchup. Fantastic field position, 22. We, of course, we saw the Kansas City Chiefs start this one from the 25. An opportunity here on the right side and side step. Lazard has been... The threat, no matter whoever's using the Jets, Lazard has been the guy we talk about a lot, and that one gets a couple of yards for them. Yeah, so eight yards up. This is about as good a situation as you get to, uh, on the 13-yard line. First down markers six feet away. Breeze Hall, nobody touches him inside, and Hall, number 20, dropping six on your face. Oh, that's kind of a shame how easy it was for Gang Green to score first and extra points academic. That's a defensive collapse, and that couldn't happen at a worse time for someone looking for their first win in this series. Gotta agree. Gotta agree. No mercy stays with the Jets here, and it's going to reign supreme in the offensive side of the field so far. Can't turn over on downs for Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. Juice Tay. You know, this is actually something that we could go forth and talk about, right? Uh, if we're talking about tricks up the sleeve and stuff, Juice Tays have just been exposed a lot more because of one fact, and that's that it's been on broadcast for seven, eight of these matches so far just on Championship Sunday, or Championship Weekend, excuse me. I mean, yes, but the predictability there was always there, but what made Juice uh, Tay so lethal is that it was quick out of the pocket, the gun, excuse me, that no one could really just stop it. Uh, you had someone, those picks we saw from the Russian Lambo mm. were, were quick user swips, uh, switches that knew exactly had the awareness of where that player was and went the right direction. A lot of times you make that switch from a player, you die the wrong way. You go, oh my gosh, I was so close so far. No Mercy Lambo has been right every single time. Yeah, and th these are just accurate plays thus far, like predictions thus far. The No Mercy Lambo is coming out on top of leaving Kelsey open. It's like basically taking a first down, handing your team back, hey, I'm just going to step back. You take this one. We'll, we'll, we'll play it on the next set of downs. Oh, that's not the worst thing you want to do, right? Just have the, <laughs> mm. hey, but I got you. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Another screenplay to Rasheed Rice this time up for about 12 yards and moving the chains right now is Juice Tay. You do not want to let this train start rolling. Oh, man, look, I know you're down in the series. You're down right now. But the last thing you want to do is go for a Hail Mary now. It's, it's fun, but you're forcing yourself to get in. Mm, that's a fumble. News. 
Reed Jr. forcing this one out, did not get the ball out, and Juice Tay is going to be feeling the pressure of another offensive turnover. Yeah, exactly what happened there. They're always that propensity to go, I'll make up the yards with this giant bomb play. Like Elite players see that, and they just put everything forward, put you under pressure, and sometimes the ball being popped out will work against you. And the the top level players, it doesn't surprise me at all that these are the players that are going to be punching tickets on into Detroit. Uh, Luke earlier and now one of these two players now that it's not just about applying pressure, Novanta. It's about seeing what that pressure does for you and how it has been applied and when it really, really is getting receptive. It's like, you know, it, it's like applying this, then checking and make sure making sure that it's worked. Well, right. You're no mercy Lambo right now. That is paying off in spades. Well, here's the deal with, with any kind of eSport, right, and the kind of pressure. The thing people realize, oh. forget to say that, oh. here's a player attempting, and I was very close to hitting the a touch line, is that there's different kinds of pressure. And so if someone applies the pressure you're good at, we say, oh, they act well under pressure. The name of the game is finding a pressure point your opponent doesn't know they have. Exploit that. And before they have time to recover, then execute. So we saw people come after Juice Tay before. We haven't really saw anyone that caused so many plays to be dropped to force him to do a long bomb and then come up with the blitz. And that's been a very specific thing that No Mercy Lambo has been doing, and it's been effective. Yeah, th this is just 4D chess right now for No Mercy Lambo, right? Like seeing where the pressure is applied, and then realizing, oh, you know, he, he's getting this, he's getting irritated, right? He, he's trying to get, a, he's gonna try to go for this long ball. We get the blitz pressure up early, does not get the ball out. Patrick Mahomes doesn't pop out. Little fumble, Ruski on the ground. This is turned into points in a couple if uh, they do go forth and take this one. Brees Hall getting up to about the three. This just got a lot more likely. Hey, but I mean, Bumble burning Ruski. clock, dude. Burn clock. Burn it up. Burn it up. Bumble, Set it on fire. Bumble Ruski. Set it on fire. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Brissol's uh, Brissol's almost uh, crossed the line. It wasn't for a trip there. But again, the defense opened up like the Red Sea. Uh, got lucky on that one. But uh, it's just critical. And doing a good job. The offensive line has pushing off, uh, pushing pressure to the one side. This one is pushed off to the right side. But Brees Hall dashes left and gets cut down in the back. Here comes the timeout here for. No Mercy Lambo, the first of theirs. This is really, really early for No Mercy. This is basically anticipating, like, hey, like, even if you get the ball back, I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, yeah. All you need is three more yards to get a hold instead of downs so to go. It's really a patient play here. I was always told all you need is love. What? That's, that's a lie. <laughs> if you're Tyler Conklin, all you need is six in your hands. How about that one? I mean, you need red money. You need a shelter. I mean, you need a <laughs> wardrobe. Like, love. You crazy? It's like that old joke, right? I'm gonna pay my uh, pay my landlord in exposure. I'm gonna pay my landlord in love. <laughs> oh man, if you have to crash on my couch, let me know. <laughs> you got definitely let you know, man. <laughs> Bomb out here. This is gonna be on the five or so, and James is gonna take this one out. Oh man, if he'd gotten out to the right side, that would have been a seam that could have been opened up and ripped for six, but. Quite get out there. Not a whole lot of blocking in front either. Juice Tay starting their third offensive drive. Let's talk about a critical drive. Here's one right now. What you don't want to do is put those long bombs. What you don't want to do is run on the left side. And uh, maybe you might have a chance. But if you get caught or if it's a turnover and down, there'd pretty much be a full momentum shift over to New York. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely definite momentum with them. But another turnover right here or definitely a score for No Mercy Lambo. that this is the first real lead they would have purchased, right? Because the first game, this is the same kind of way that it went, just like a slow burn No Mercy Lambo. Again, folks, no scores in the first period. Score in the second, score in the third, offensive score in the first, and then the pick six. Just definitely. got worse. or It got bad and then got worse, you know what I'm saying? Definitely going back to work for them, it's that. Several step Pacheco getting so much more yards and giving them a chance to get on the board late in the first half. Yeah, I mean, that was like three rushes for like 11 yards or something like that. One of them even being negative. The big fast dash by Isaiah Pacheco up the right side right here. Got out and got to Kansas City Chief exactly where they want to be. Pass out. That's what? I thought that was broken up by Cordry, number 40. Okay. Body was there, but was on the wrong side of the of the repetitive receiving it, and that's mm. the reason why it was caught. But I think through two out of three times, that would have been either a batted down or an interception. Two minute warning coming in here. Juice Tay is going to be be focusing on 
Uh, scoring here, hopefully, I mean, if you could take two minutes, then cool. I just don't see this happening when you only get one fresh set of downs at most. Barring penalties, of course. Ball does uh -huh. not get out right there. Or not out for a pass, excuse me. Does get out, so incomplete pass will be the call. So, again, moving it up and doing that kind of small pecking yards to death would have been what you would do under uh, cool uh, situations. But because there is this pressure to put something on the board, it was waiting for a long pass, couldn't find it. Mahomes ran out of room. Nobody in the backfield besides Checo. Checo again, a two step off to his left, going on bodyguard duties. Doesn't get this one out again. The pressure from No Mercy Lambo is absolutely crushing this offensive for the. Kansas City Chiefs. There still is a path to victory there, and I will say, how about trying a different target altogether you haven't used at all? As risky as it sounds, if no one can know your pattern, then you can't anticipate your next move. You mean like somebody you haven't targeted yet, like Travis Kelsey, perhaps? Oh, yeah. He's going to be the, the primary route runner on this one. Looking for it, but there's two players there on the other side still looking for it, forced to throw it away. Fourth and ten coming. Uh, fourth and ten is never good. It's all the ominousness, this, 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 this. Let's see how they respond <laughs> in kind. Trips gets broken up right here. Spanning this one a little bit more. You remember last time what this happened? This was pressure to the right, and it was a throw there. Throw that garnered a first down plus a little bit more. But Michael Hardman Jr. now bringing this one back to span this field a little bit more evenly. Pass out. Pacheco up. Pacheco in. First score here for Juice Tay. Sorely needed in a scoring drought about as long as a CVS receipt. Kansas City is on the board. <laughs> Juice Tay keeps himself in the game. There you go. Extra points remain perfect for everybody. Not really been too many mix ups post touchdown pre kickoff. That's not going to change here on the day. Right side preferred by Juice Tay. It's been the name of the game so far. Can they get another one? That's the question now. If you're no Mercy Lambo, imagine being so close to shutting the door an opponent and you let them back in. Hopefully, this doesn't become a critical mistake. Yeah, I mean, a minute at 45, like, that's just so long. Juice Tay obviously is going to take points however they can get them, but this is forever and a day for Mercy Lambo to bring this one back. They can even, yeah, they can even do this. They can even give it to Brees Hall and burn up some of this clock. Right up the middle. Uh, I thought it would be a first down. It wasn't the case, but... I love the fact that it was not being pressured to do anything out of the ordinary. Aaron Rodgers gets all day back there. Kind of hang out. Xavier Gibson <laughs> hits the dirt. An oil slick, huh? Wow. It's literally what it looks like. No banana peels necessary on this Mario Kart track. All middle yet again. There comes times out. Coming from Juice Tay this time. Both teams two left. Interesting case. Uh, we've seen so many players looking to make that third touchdown a statement thing, but looks like the Mercy Lambo is taking their sweet time. Is this, I believe that was blitz shown for just a couple of seconds. No movement of players, no audibles called, or at least no positions change, I should say. That is that is going to be a solid bit. The safety's coming down and leave Hall open over to the right side for a free first down. And that is the flip side of things. I think the, the blitz was anticipated. That's why it was a little bit of an extra drop back to make sure the wings are ready to go. That's pressure. That's even better to Tyler Conklin. The release valve yet again here for the New York Jets. Yeah, Conklin's a cheat code, man. I mean, if they make me look good as a virtual QB, I'm sure someone with actual skills will have a field day. Uh, and Hall takes a pass barely inside for that one all the way up. Well, like, I, I, I got to say, no mercy, Lamb, but like, can you say who his wide receiver one is? Like, I, I really don't. Feel like you can. Tyler Tyler Conklin has gotten plenty of love. Alan Lazard, huge stuff, right? Garrett Wilson has taken some really crucial balls to get first down when it was absolutely necessary. And that's what we're asking for. That's what we're asking was a little bit more variety. It would have done them so well. It was a kind of a shame we didn't see that much with Kansas City. Maybe it's a bit top heavy on their depth chart, but having it seem like the Jets kind of opened up the creativity. And we're seeing that not only in spades, man, in aces too. <laughs> I love it. Love it. 16 seconds to go. Need I remind y'all? Remind Juice me. Tay scored with one second left against neighbor early -er, And there's there's 16 times that many seconds in the clock right now. <laughs> That's deep. I'm not going to be called. Yeah, right. <laughs> quick math. Quick math. Well, it's only 21 to 7, so it's not cause for ringing the alarm. We have a whole half to play about it, but we've seen what Omar Lambo has done. I, I will say it's, a, it's an orange to vermilion on the panic meter, personally. 
but I am definitely a Mr. Doom and Gloom. Okay, Mr. Rasheed Rice is going to be able to get out here to match your Mr. Gloom and Doom. This is, uh, my opinion, meter, immediate to moderate pass for a player to get to the outside or even in the middle if you can get it because obviously you have the touchdown or you have the timeout, excuse me. Um, and kick three if you don't if you don't find what you need. Rice up the middle, got to jump down. No, he's going to go for it. Yeah. Oh, no. Interesting. That is uh, brutal. Interesting. Well, he got the first down. I thought it was going to be something a bit more uh, impactful, but then I right there. Didn't get a chance to I, score. Like, you pretty much have to start your, your, your jumping pattern, like, as soon as you see the two seconds. As soon as it changes from three to two, you have to start that jumping pattern. Uh, as, as soon as it didn't, I assumed, oh, he's just he's going to go for it. He's going to go for seven or zero. That was a floor kick. You'll see too many of those. No, outside. you don't. No, you don't. Uzo Ma's got some really great hands as well, so possibly the worst person on that line to try and aim for. Reese Hall almost gets through the, what, left ta or right tackle and... A wing right there and couldn't quite get there. Only a single yard. Single yard, but definitely um, the, the stuff that works, right? Where you'll see probably two rush run plays, two run plays now, and then drop back for a medium-sized pass. But it's been working out for them. Hasn't been a challenge. Haven't really been bothered. Mm, oh, speaking never, of never getting mind. bothered, Aaron Rodgers takes a big one. Pancake down with the ground. Third and nine coming up for the Jets. Is that his first sack of the game or the second? Um, I'm only, I mean, it's no, no loss of yardage, so not technically sack, yada, yada, but loss of downs. I mean, I'll, I'll still take a, a wasted down if I'm on the defense. Fair enough. Look out. Hmm. There's this one out. Uh, we're looking at a 61 yard field goal or something like that. I, I, I don't believe that's going to be, that's going to be, uh, selected by any means. Now I believe that said, got it down to a 15 yard hooks. At least two of those players on the right side. Well, this is completely changed. Well, this is kind of bold here. You got the lead, you got the time and space. They would have been putting City, I would think. Especially putting Juice Tay on like the three, you know? That doesn't even get out. Made one with the ground again, pancaked. Basically a sack, given the result is a turnover on downs. Yeah, any kind of distance you're looking for, they'll take your runners way too long to get out there. Or your targets, I should say. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Roger Mahomes taking over on the 43. This could be a, yeah, th this could have been a lot better. Like positionally. Well, you said it before. Comeback season on? Oh, maybe not. Flag? Illegal contact on the Jets. Juice Tay going to get bailed out right here. That would have been a huge sack. Probably 12 yards, maybe 15. Mm-hmm. The uh, uh, sole uh, hook of trying to drop back while in a shotgun. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, okay, find some separation there. Travis Kelsey does. I guess the zone coverage is kind of abandoned there as he passed through zones, but other nobody else was in town. Travis Kelsey reigns supreme on that one. It was kind of looking for the sack, left someone critical as an automated AI, and it was kind of too late for that. Right in the hands, easily done. Travis Kelsey, once again, proven an integral part of this offense. 27-yard line here for Juice Tay. Not going to be happy with three by any means, even though three would make this back to a two-possession game. Mahomes rolling around. Reed Jr. pulled off of the corner just a little bit. A slide that gets utilized and actually gets kind of like a player under him and gets a little bit more air on that one. No, oh, rip Mahomes' ankles. What? <laughs> <laughs> zero in the first and zero in the third so far for Juice Tay. Only score coming in the second right there on the two-minute play. Pacheco gets out and gets a first down. Five yards standing between him and Salvation. Uh, first and goal, first attempt. Let's see if it happens here. I think, talk about critical runs. If you're Juice Tay and you have that touchdown, you're in this game. You somehow cough it up, it may be the end. No, no single back here. That gets Patrick Mahomes onto a QB sneak look, but... Even with only, what, three men on the line and a couple of linebackers there, not going to be enough for Patrick Mahomes to slip through. But Pat Mahomes has done do so much more in the past. Don't bet against Pat Mahomes, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, second half, Patrick Mahomes, I'm, I'm dumb gambling against him. How about that? <laughs> yeah, fair enough. 
Hangs on now. Biggest test of the tournament. Pacheco gets hit super hard, but still maintains possession. This goes to show just how much of a brick wall patch uh, Isaiah Pacheco really is. Yeah, durable and being able to be so good on so many different parts of the field. Short pass play is attempted right here. Nope, not going to happen. Swallowed up in the back. Mosley gets his first sack for attack. You haven't seen too many of those uh, in this couple of the last uh, couple of Slowly getting up. Yeah, it looks like Pat Mahomes is feeling it now. Try and take a look at this one again. On his shoulder. It really brought him down on the right shoulder you saw right there. Like hip first, right shoulder second. Teague obviously uh, handled a little bit differently within Madden 24. See if that has an effect, though. Fourth and goal. Pacheco takes it. Tries to get to the outside. Nothing doing. Every step was just for worst field position for the No Mercy Lambeau led Jets. Yeah, you can't really knock them for trying. I know people would say go for the field goal there, but I wouldn't. I uh, really gotta go all, all for not go for broke. It didn't work out for them, and that one's oh, wide open. Dear. Goodness me, holds off to the races and cut back was that thirty eight yard run. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it might have been Brees Hall, but look more like a Lambo. Just absolutely taken off to the outside right there, fast as fast gets. It's Brees Hall. Continuously pushing the pressure. This is the exact same play to the opposite side. And Brees Hall is going to make this thing sink. Chase down the ref. Chase down the <laughs> ref. Okay. All right. All right. Not going to do it. Oh, Gets this one all the way up. You actually saw he was trying to get tackled on the one yard line. Yeah. I, I thought the ref was going to be part of it. But good thing he uh, has no uh, contact play. Like you were saying, opposite side. And it was actually the critical jukes before contact. We gave him the open road. And we saw that, how that worked. Mm. 20 to 7 is now the score, but a mouse will be 100 at this point. Yeah, I mean, you have a fourth quarter. This is technically enough time. This is the same place that No Mercy Lambo had Juice Tay in, but a little bit worse. It was 28 to 3 the last time coming into this one. Juice Tay forced to do all kinds of really, really risky, aggressive gambling plays. That was No Mercy Lambo that was hitting the jackpots. I think you hit the nail on the head. You know, you can't win if you don't score, but 10 points over a game and a half or a game in, in more than a half is not mm -hmm. good by any stretch of the imagination. I don't think about the like lowest scoring game that we've had so far. Today, it's been the 21-24 showdown between Neighbor and Juice Tay. In the past, I mean, I'm sure it's been lower than that given that we've had third quarter uh, resignations before, but this has got to be one of them, right? In 21-24 is 45. We're looking at 35 right now. It's looking pretty bad. Uh, let's be honest with you. We've seen 21-point uh, quarters before. Uh, anyone who can do it, it is Juste, but I, I can't see the path. Like, I feel like I see the plays. I see them scoring. I'm not, I'm not sure how they will link it together, and that would say way the white flag. But maybe it's a case of pride, you know? It's your last time at it. Might as well go to the end of the last whistle. Mm, Bomb.com, Hardman Jr. coming in for it, grabs it, and runs it down for six. Well, I said I couldn't see it. That's how it's done. Hail Mary, Hail Mary. And just like that, Casey is close to making sure they don't walk away in shame. Prayers answered in Kansas City. It seems that's going to be 14 to 28. This one just got a lot more doable. Onside kick because it's Juice Tay coming up in just a second. Even they take this one, I'm out now coming from the Jets because they did not anticipate this onside kick. Now got their players lined up exactly where they want them to be. It was interesting. I kind of the, the, the love of the onside kick. <laughs> Solid little hit. Lazar does not let go of this one, though. Sticky hands indeed as No Mercy Lambo going to be set up in great field position. A great field position for what there? Tugboat, what is on the mind of Juice Tay? What do you think is going to happen here? Because I, I can tell you one thing. I, I think No Mercy has seen this plan before. I do think they have a countermeasure. I mean, they got to go forth. And you know that Brees Hall is going to take a couple of these. 10 for 120 so far, folks, uh, with the fourth quarter just barely starting. Uh, you got to go forth and you got to get up under this ball and take a pick. You, like, you need an interception. You need an interception right now. You cannot rely on fumbles. You cannot rely on getting to... You know, the looser hands of Aaron Rodgers and forcing this one out. Well, I was going to say maybe it's going to be the run play, but as I say that, first pass for no gain. <laughs> gain at all. Conklin going to take this one, but uh, hey, uh, if you're talking about Aaron Rodgers getting the ball out and eliminating the opportunity for a fumble, I'm all about it. 
Fair enough. Third and ten for the Jets. Uh, I feel like a, the first time in a long time they're playing on the back foot. Reese Hall, okay, takes this one. A oh, bigger no. one gets around everybody, and a wall of red. It is parted ahead of him like he's named Moses. Forget about the back foot. Uh, and forget about that reference on a Sunday um, there. Oh, yeah. That's how it's done. Thought I was going to say they're up against the wall. They find a way to put themselves in striking distance. Yeah, and, and honestly, this is this could very easily just be three rushes and Brees Hall not getting it. Again, biggest use tay off opponent is this clock. Comes off, Gibson takes it right down the, the, the backs of the line, the receivers. Tight end Tyler Conklin, and he gets picked up like a child. Fireman's carry. That's going to do the uh, attitude adjustment, John Cena style. <laughs> <laughs> Day late for that one, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oof. I guess I was waiting to see if the uh, concession would come in. It hasn't. And Juice takes his play on. 35 14, 245 to go. Definitely possible, definitely doable, improbable as it is. There's a chance for them to start their comeback story now. And that one's being taken up. Oh, man. So Barnes actually did get hit and did not have great block, great uh, tackling capabilities there for a second. But the cut inside was just a little too sharp. A little bit farther outside, giving them a little bit of a wider berth. I would have gotten out to the middle of the field a little bit better, but 17 will be with the starting this one. Mahomes in the backfield, nobody with him. Everybody going to be running out for receiving roles this one. Trying to get the ball out, does not to the ground and a stopped clock, loss of down, incomplete pass. Interesting. Had there been an extra half second, that could have been a different game altogether. 21 to 35 point, need two onside kick, two and a half minutes. I love Juice Tay's perseverance. I was talking about the mind and soul of a competitor earlier. I do believe that is still there. That is why we have not seen that FF thus far. This drive goes nowhere, though. I think we're talking about a different situation. Yeah, fourth quarter, 235 is a lot of time to score, a lot of onside kicks you would need. We were talking about like how many actions, seven, seven, eight actions to get yourself <laughs> level if need be. Uh, we're talking about Hail Mary. I know it's predictable, but that's all you got in your bag right now. Yep. She Rice, Darius Tony, Kelsey, Will Hardman Jr., Scantling, of course, all out here. What? Across, not just across the body, but like as he's jumping up in the air. I don't even know what he was throwing against. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, Holmes to Chelsea, uh, to Kelsey just defies the laws of physics, in-game physics, life, liberty, football. <laughs> if man, oh man, if you're facing against it, it's going to be brutal. Second and one right now. Still going to be at least one play before the second or two minute warning here, fully loading the right side trips again. We got Scantling up on the line though. It's post plays for Scantling and it's a sack down the middle for Quinton Williams. Third and 13. Unfortunate. I was feeling the shit. I was feeling the, the plays being linked together, but that's a setback you didn't want ever, especially now. All the way in the backfield. See Davis getting controlled up. A lot of pressure. Davis on Rice and tries to punch this ball out. Fourth and 10. Back to the original starting position is going to be the only thing the Kansas City Chiefs can find. You go I'm going to go now. ahead and call it now. Unless this is a this play is a touchdown, there is not enough time. There's not enough sand in the hourglass to make this comeback. Well, you see the streaks, right? Why not? You got to believe, man. Angels in the outfield. No, angels in the backfield. That's the second one. Angels, angels in the, the backfield. backfield. There you go. <laughs> yeah. It can happen. Survey in the field. Rice. This has got to go all the way in. Gets around a couple right there. Now it's timeout. Uh, timeout. If Billy's 14 second runoff, you don't have this kind of time to use Tay. I guess you're kind of playing for points of pride here. I understand that too. If you know this is the end of the line for you, might as well get the score as high as you can. Is he going for a Stone Cold Stunner? What, what just okay. happened? Yeah, you got off of one of them, just shook him straight off. Yesterday's rubbish. She rise seven on 134, almost averaging 20 yards a catch. Rubbish. That's like an SAT word. Okay. All right. All right, smarty fans. <laughs> one of the $5 words here. Yeah. Are you the smartest guy in the game? I'd like to think so. Never true. I always like to think so. <laughs> it matters. 
Uh, okay, you got options. There you go. Miko Hartman Jr. gets out of the first down. No, excuse me. Just inches outside the first down. Does go, does stop this clock, so that's what name of the game is. But still, folks, this is onside kick, uh, recovery, all back for touchdown. He is not going to happen. Look, it's not going to work out for Juice today, but that was the heart of the line coming through with a giant lower bracket run to get themselves into the losers finals will never be denied to get prize money today. But as it is right now, a lot of fans are filing out of those viewing parties over there in Kansas City. Got to agree. Got to agree. Caesar Superdome here. Going to be looking rather sparse in just a little bit. Pacheco takes it. Touchdown onside kick coming in at the onside kick doesn't hit when we're guaranteed if it does hit then you know juice taste just gotta go forth and uh get a touchdown pretty much in about 10 seconds come back and get the onside kick recovery again two in a row which is not something that we have seen uh across nine weeks we've seen one onside kick recovery work that's true two point conversion okay uh, and that's a pick by sauce garden now this uh, game is over you cannot get 15 points this quickly right well, you know, having an interception like that is never good, but seeing your dreams dashed the way it has been, oof. Onside kick recovery. All of these first four qualifiers comes down to this. Lazard gets hit, but Lazard holds on. This game is over. Interesting. Well, respect, respect from for, I, for Juice Tay right there. Respect played it till the very, very end right there until there's literally like no further capability whatsoever to actually come back. Played it part of a competitive, part of a line. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no 21 point touchdowns in this game, but <laughs> we were saying Juice Tay had uh, the heart of a line taking that loss uh, and then making sure they had a good run. Redemption arc was great, fantastic team to get behind. We saw about seven or eight of their games on stream, but it just wasn't their time. Yeah, so we uh, we have our two competitors. Yes, that is Luke plays lacrosse. And we got another one. The No Mercy Lambo player, No Mercy Lambo came in. There was a little bit of one side affair, but in their competition. But yeah, so we we, we have we have our two competitors. It'd be two t two players gonna be punching their ticket to Detroit, Michigan. I'm kind of jealous. Make sure they have Detroit style pizza for me. You know what I'm saying? Because I love this delicious. Absolutely. Uh, lots of stuff out there in Detroit that we'll be looking forward to. So we're going to go to a very short break. When we come back, a little bit of contact action coming at you guys. FBI Tugboat and Novanta.
Hello and welcome back, FBI Tubbo Novanta. We are here with the Rally Cry Collegiate Series featuring Madden, of course, presented by the good folks over there at the Army National Guard. It has been nine weeks of long play, and we have reached the end. We would not be able to say goodbye to you guys. A little interview action, of course, coming on here. Novanta, we got Luke to come on in here and give us a minute of their time. Luke, also known as the Croft, coming on here to, to, to give us a, side, like a look inside the mind of the player post uh Post victory, D. Croft, you with us? Yo, what's good, guys? Uh, well, I'm okay, but I bet you're mostly <laughs> feeling like a million bucks. Who Troy is in the offing and talking about the NFL draft. What's that mean to you? Yeah, no, it's uh, pretty cool to be able to go to the NFL draft. I'm a pretty avid uh, NFL fan as a whole, and for me, the draft is just one of the bigger off-season events as a whole. I've never been able to uh, actually go and see a draft live before. So it'll be pretty cool to be out in Detroit for that weekend. Sure. Uh, a lot of times we talk about the tournament play. We saw your victory on stream today. One of the questions that Tugboat and I had going back and forth between things like our favorite movies and food was how do you keep yourself warm between series? I mean, how do you make sure that you're really locked in while you have different opponents throughout the tournament play? Yeah, more often than not, I just go back and I watch the games that I have already played or I try to just watch my opponent. Uh, just any type of like little information that I can gather uh, in between the series is just what I'm trying to do. I don't try to overthink it or anything like that, but I just try to pick up on little things that my opponents are doing. Uh, and real quick, just a personal thing. What's your favorite team in real life? Like, What's your favorite NFL team? Yeah, uh, I'm a Seahawks fan. I, uh, I lived Ooh. in Seattle. Well, that's where my childhood home is. So I lived out there for uh, 21 years, but then I ended up moving to Iowa for college after. No, no. Absolutely love that. Absolutely love that. So, D. Croft, uh, this is going to be uh, a fantastic punching of the ticket all the way into Detroit. First off, congratulations, sir. I want to ask you a little bit. Uh, we have Clark University here. Is that correct for you? Yeah, that's correct. Gotcha. So talk to me a little bit about uh, the, college, the, the college and the collegiate status that, that kind of got you entered into this competition. Major, what you want to do with it, what year you're in, all this stuff. Yeah, so I'm a second year. I'm a sophomore right now, and then my uh, major is uh, computer science. And then hey. kind of wanted me to get what wanted. Well, when I ended up deciding to enter this tournament, uh, you know, I've been playing Madden here for a while now, and uh, going to college, being able to play Madden was one of the decisions for me that definitely swayed it in terms of wanting to come out here too, because they just give me a ton of great support. And there's like there's an entire esports room too that I'm able to play at too with great internet connection. So it was a it was a pretty good uh, decision to come out here. Sounds like it sounds like it's paying off for you so far, my friend. Want to switch our attention a little bit to, to Detroit specifically. Now, outside of anything Madden related and Ergo, outside of anything NFL related, is there anything that you think that you'd really love to do while in Detroit, Michigan? Yeah, I actually have some uh, friends that live out in Detroit. So hey. I don't really have any uh, direct plans in terms of what we're going to be doing out in Detroit. But the plan is, is definitely at a point to be able just to meet up with them and just kind of see where it takes us. See the city. See the Motor City, right, Novanta? Absolutely. <laughs> the Motor City. We were going back and forth on that one as well. So uh, finishing this one out, uh, I'm going to ask you the question I ask everybody. Hey, at least $1,500 in the old pocket. Is it fair to assume that the student here is going to use that for living expenses or maybe student loans or something like that? Croft? Yeah, I mean, this money is definitely going to go all back towards school in terms of uh, whether it be for food or whether it be for paying for my housing, one or the other, but you know, it's definitely nice to be able to get this uh, chunk of change to help out with college. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. This simply makes sense. What wise decision seems wise decision, especially if I, I remember how college can how college can be. Last thing here, sir, as we know, no competitor gets it done by themselves. I want to ask you if you have any shout outs. Yeah, I think uh, one of my big shout outs would be Jay Wall. He, uh, he actually won one of the national tournaments here a couple of years ago that uh, was hosted on the collegiate scene. He actually won the first ever one. So yeah, huh? I've just been talking to him over the past couple of days and just getting some advice from him. So he, he'd probably be the big one. There you go, Jay. Well, you heard it here first. Hope you're watching. Hope you're watching. Clip it if not. Clip it if not. Uh, D. Croft, once again, thank you for coming on in and giving us some of your time after the game and giving us uh, like a really cool look inside the mind of a player post victory. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. No problem. No problem. This has been a fantastic competition, guys. Fantastic competition. Uh, nine weeks or so is not even over with yet. Still got a month or so before the NFL draft. And these two players, <clears throat> Luke plays lacrosse or Decroft, taken on with the likes 
of uh oh yeah of, of no mercy lambo of course no mercy lambo it's been a long day it's been a long day novato yeah, absolutely in fact these two are well earned and well deserved depth of roster and play calling action this right here is a competition a matchup that is totally befitting of the venue so detroit michigan if you're in make sure you check that out if you are also a luminary dignitary make sure you check out that eventual competition <laughs> a month from now at the nfl draft absolutely absolutely we're getting towards the end of it want to give a big shout out of course because you are presented by the army national guard now the army national guard they are the first responders to emergencies here at home now guard service is frequently part-time as well the vast majority of the army national guard members go forth and they have part-time or even full-time jobs or they're involved of course within higher education there's there's national tuition assistance there's local tuition assistance you guys can find out what they can do for you over at the army national guard.com Absolutely. You could do more for yourself and your future. Soldier National Guard may qualify to receive education benefits from the state and federal tuition assistance programs. And soldiers in the Guard have the opportunity to gain transferable skills and leadership qualities outside the workplace and or the classrooms by pursuing a full-time job or going to school full-time. So please check them out. We have a chance. Absolutely. As again, guys, ArmyNationalGuard.com. Last thing here from the tugboat from Devante. We want to give a big shout out to our production staff again. Aster, it's Morak. It's everybody over there doing sound, video, graphics, replays, like literally all of it. What, what, what we do, we're not able to bring you guys this tier one top of the line broadcast without the skills of all the people you don't see right now. Very much appreciate you guys. We're just screaming about esports terms without you. Yeah, absolutely. If it was for us, it would just be two guys being like, oh, that football game is so hard and complicated. So <laughs> thank you so much for Rally Cry and the crew. Yeah, lastly, Navanta, always a good time with you, man. Always a good time. No, not the first, definitely will not be the last. Folks, be sure to tune in again, NFL Draft, for the culmination of this competition. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you then. We get how uncertain the future is. We've come of age in a complex world, face to face with problems we didn't create. So what's gonna happen next? We are. Because our future is the future. The life we have chosen has prepared us for this. So we're going to build bridges and hospitals in a day. We're gonna save families from disasters and feed those left in the cold. We're going to do all this and more because we have an appointment with destiny. We invite you to join us. The next greatest generation is now.